Hey guys, welcome. Also, yeah, I think I think I might just probably have to put on members only mode. Let's see, slow mode. Um, let me see. It's like what's Bree saying? Because I know I was talking to mods, and some of them were like, maybe we should just go ahead and do slow mode, <laughs> or at least uh, we can at least do slow mo. God dang it, I'm getting like so confused. Uh, I can't speak today. But uh, welcome, guys, to the stream. Let's go ahead and just do slow mode at least. But I was talking about the, to the mods, and I was like, it's probably going to chance we're going to have to do members only. Because last stream was already so bad. Like, and that was just the victim reveal. So I assume the trial is going to be way worse. Although, apparently, um, I don't think, well, uh, from what I heard from my mods, um, I don't think it actually is like the end of the trial. Because um, I had to change my title. <laughs> Because it was misleading. I didn't realize the chapter wasn't over. I just kind of assumed that uh, the chapter was over and then it was going on hiatus. Because I knew it was going on hiatus, but I didn't realize it was um, going, It like, you know, didn't finish exactly chapter two. Thank you, Jamie, for becoming a Kenjo cultist. Slay. And gosh, I think there was another one I missed too. Thank you, Alicia, Alice, Alicia. Hi, I won't be able to fully watch the stream until tomorrow, which sucks, but I'm still really excited. Trial 2 is generally so well written. Yeah, I'm super duper excited to check it out. I feel like um, I've seen a lot of people hyped for it, so I'm excited to see what happens. Let's go, baby. And then, um, let me see. Do, do, do. I'll look through the chat a little bit and kind of, oh my God, it's going so fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you, Captain Draken, gifted one. Thank you for gifting a membership. Appreciate you and congrats on whoever got that. And thank you, Ciro. <laughs> Ciro? Well, how did I see your name wrong, dude? I'm so out of it today. Thank you, Sierra. Happy birthday, Weeby. I'm actually not Weeby today. Um, I'm technically Weedy since it is 420 day, so. <laughs> But I, I forgive you for saying my name wrong. It's okay, bestie. <laughs> the channel is uh, temporarily taken over by uh, Weedy for today. I remember I saw that. I was like, am I literally streaming on 420? <laughs> That's kind of hilarious with the Weedy jokes. Thank you, Frest. Happy birthday, Weedy. Who is this Weedy girl? I don't I don't know who she is. All I, all I know is Weedy. <laughs> Thank you. God. Oh, you see, just stuff getting deleted. Thank you, Dragon Nugget. Hey, Weeby, I'm excited to see your reactions. Me too. I'm also excited to react to it. Thank you, Misaki. Hello, Weeby. First time donating. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thanks for the, your first donation and uh, hope you enjoy the stream. And thank you, Stinkfly3, for the donation. And oh my god, maybe Jesus Christ, it's going so fast. I can't keep up with it. I'm gonna make it slower. <laughs> I think we should make it slower. Let me make it like 90 seconds, maybe. It's like I can't even look at the chat, it's going too fast. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, da -da, da -da -da. Okay, there we go. Thank you, big chunk. Oh yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Welcome, became an ultimate super high school level Mitch Stan. Oh my God, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you becoming a, a super high school level ultimate Mitch Stan. That is so slay of you. Thank you, Jay Reed. Well, I haven't caught a Weeby stream since SDRA too. Well, thanks for stopping by, I appreciate ya. And yeah, I think that should hopefully, oh, you might wanna put a trigger warning. Um, same topics with, oh yeah, you're right, you're, you're right, okay. We should put trigger warnings just in case. Yeah, same topics as the last one. Good call, Brie, good call. Okay, I'll put that in here. But yeah, we're gonna start out with the investigation and then we're gonna go into the trial and I think we're basically gonna, oh my gosh. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, there we go. We're basically gonna catch up with the series, I think in this episode, or like, you know, the newest updates. So that's exciting too, you know, a little sad, a little sad, cause it's, means, you know, we're gonna have to wait a while for a new episode, especially since I believe this project is on hiatus for the time being. Um, but uh, it's kind of excited to catch up. I don't have to avoid spoilers anymore. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. Oh, uh, they had health issues. That's sad. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they can uh, get better. And thank you, Mal Cairo Rose for becoming a Kinjo cultist. Appreciate ya. Okay, let's see. Um, I guess we can go ahead and start. Let me double check and everything. Okay, cool. Let me know too if the audio is good. I think I turned it down enough. But hopefully it's okay. It's Jay's birthday, really? Oh, interesting. Happy birthday, Jay. What's her real name again? It was like Julia or something. All that glitters. Let me turn off the captions. 
A body has been discovered. Please come to the playground on floor two. I don't want to see her. <laughs> last trial uh. will begin. Use this time wisely to investigate. Good luck. Can we go to a different? Okay, cool. <laughs> it's like, can we go to a different, a different scene? God damn it, she's still there. She's still there. Cool, cool, great. Also, I'll probably just take breaks to read donations because we've been getting so many like uh at a time so i think i might just kind of do it after each scene and i appreciate you guys everybody who's been donating though but just to kind of you know stay on track aria is really okay i know y'all were saying too i've been saying her name wrong is it like ari like ariana grande or is it r a i know it's not ari because that's what i've been saying everybody's like we be still know how to pronounce her name and she's dead okay ari a is really sleepy oh god of course Ari is really dead after all Oops, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, you think so, buddy? No. Aw, Eden. Ah! She's, sen she's a sensitive soul, you know? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? This oh. She can't be dead. Oh, poor girly, I know. Well, hey, it'll be all right, okay? <laughs> Everyone else started filtering in. A body, don't tell me, huh? Oh, poor, poor fucking David. I was thinking about it too. I was like, damn, every time David gets close to somebody, they fucking die. <laughs> like, first Xander and now R. Ari. Ah, uh, Ari. Ari? Really? It's Ari? Uh, but I kind of want to call her Ari. <laughs> okay. Ari. 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 Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Of course. Of course. Of course. That's what happened again to one of my friends. Jesus. I have the worst luck in a Danganronpa game. Fuck. Fuck, R.A. How unfortunate. Oh Not again. Oh my, well, we'll have to have another class trial, right? Oh, what a shame. I'm totally not looking forward to that at all. Charlie said I'm me kicking the bucket. It almost was. Ah. Uh. At least it's not me being the culprit. It almost was. In any case, I suppose I should start investigating. Time is of the essence. <laughs> uh, there, there, Pat Pat. Do you want to sit down somewhere else? Aw, oh, Wit, you're so cute. Uh, I... Do we have to see her in the background like this, though? Uh, like, can we move to a different room? I needed a second to deal with it. I'm super ready to investigate. I'll do everything I can to help find a race killer. It's okay, girl. Let's you can feel your emotions. Let's investigate together, Terrico. No. Aw. Come on. Be nice. At least be nice to her now. Okay, girly? Harsh as always, Terrico. Sorry. But right now, I can't guarantee that you're not the killer. Nor can you guarantee that I'm not the killer either. It's a fool's errand to trust anyone else at a time like this. If I was going to trust anybody, though, I would trust Eden. If I let myself get taken advantage of once more... That I only have myself to blame. But yeah, granted, you know, the person she was closest to before was the culprit that, or not the culprit, the victim who tried to be the culprit and kill her. Let's see. Even though this would technically be my second time investigating a murder, it feels like a new experience. After all, this time I'm investigating at the same time as everyone else. Yeah, I kind of have like a minute uh -huh. holding her hand. Last time too. Wait, everyone at the same time. What's stopping people from manipulating evidence? Last time, we also worried about that possibility. So we had to sign someone to guard the crime scene prevent that. Okay, whatever. I guess I'm on guard duty again because I don't really like investing. <laughs> Bro, nobody trusts no. you. Yeah, no. You're not on guard duty. Asshole. Tell him. At least let me finish my finish sentence first, you ass. I'm not letting people volunteer to guard the crime scene. Who's to say you're not just offering yourself up to protect the crime scene in order to manipulate evidence yourself? I don't mind guarding the crime scene. Okay, somebody I actually no trust. Chance. Oh, and who's to say you two aren't in cahoots? What if you're collaborating with who and picture as a guard so you can do whatever you want? Just have two people guard. That's what they do in normal dingy grandpa. Okay, you're on guard duty too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, I set myself up for that. Now that that's settled, I checked uh, Ra's body for signs of, of life. As I thought, she as I thought, she is definitely dead. Just need to make sure. I guess with dang it grandpa, you never know. Move aside, let me check the body. I hope you actually do a good job and not miss over an obvious case of death this time, Arturo. Just die. 
Quit spewing worthless insults from that putrid mouth. I never work with dead bodies, so don't act as if you know anything about my practice. Right. It's like, bro, don't you just do, like, cosmetic surgery? So, like, just look at her and be like, yes, yeah, she definitely got her buckle fat removed. I can tell you that with 100% certainty. It's like, thank you. Thank you, r That's very, very helpful. I guess, um, I think the scene did kind of change. So let me go ahead and, uh, look through maybe some of these donos. So many. Thank you, Candy Dude 68A. Thanks for being a member for eight months. Surprise that the series has no <laughs> and surprise that the series has no deaths. That's so weird. That's so unique. I love it though. You know, it's really groundbreaking how they do that. Thank you, Pokey Champ. I won't be able to see it live because of work, but at least VODs exist, so I'll see your reaction when I'm done. <laughs> Happy 420! <laughs> Thank you. As Weedy News, the official ambassador of 420, I, I appreciate you, you know, wishing me happiness on my holiday and also on my birthday. That's so crazy. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the VOD. And thank you, Big Chunk. I made it to a stream, but I'm not caught up. Oh, well, time to be spoiled. <laughs> oh, man, thank you for the donation. Appreciate you. Thank you, Jay Reed. Mono TV sounds more chipper about teenagers dying than Monokuma. I could see that. I feel like it's also just kind of like his voice, you know what I mean? He has a very, like, ebony voice. Very childlike, too. Thank you, Red Anuo, for being a member for three months. Hi, Weeby. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. Yeah, I've been doing good. Appreciate you. Thank you, NR China 20 Rose. So sad. Another another girlfriend dead. Sigh, at least the good news is I can see you live at tomorrow at tonight's stream. If you do, enjoy the stream. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. And thank you, respect, respect uh, fluffy boys. Thanks for being a member for one month. I, I like your name. Eden is my favorite character. She seems so honest and is genuinely a sweet character. She really is. She's such a sweetheart. I feel like out of anybody, I would trust her. You know what I mean? And thank you, Makuro Kiba. So excited to see and hear your reactions to this. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate you. And thank you, Taya. My GTS since at 6 a.m., but have fun with the stream. Oh, thanks for stopping by while you could. Gosh, it's 6 a.m. for you? Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Even a little bit, that's wild. I would be passed out <laughs> at that point in time, but thanks. If Ari hunger herself, then her cause of death should be strangulation. However, it's possible that she was killed in some other way and had her cause of death disguised as hanging. Yeah, that's... There's definitely, you know... Oh, yeah, was it? I think I might have already said this in the last episode, too, but didn't she get, like, sent rope or something as a kid by, like, her bullies, like, telling her to, like... Oh, oh man, that's so messed up. It's so messed up! Like, I wonder if the person who did this knew about her past. He was in that scene with us. That was, like... It's, like, me, Eden, who would never... I think David, her, and then, of course, Taruko. It was, like... I don't know if that would make... Uh, David is well I don't know he did seem close to her but at the same time that is kind of Danganronpa I guess we'll see after all the previous murder involved a disguised cause of death that being said do you see any signs of strangulation her neck is broken okay How cruel that's horrible oh, interesting Eden being the culprit would be the biggest twist ever <laughs> Ever. Oh, how interesting. For someone to break their neck via hanging, they have to either be much heavier than Ari, Ari is or jump off from a high place. Well, this swing set is kind of tall. Even if Ari climbed to the top and jumped off a noose, jumped off in a noose, I doubt that force would have been enough to snap her neck. Kind of weird having this chipper music with her just like hanging there. <laughs> That's awfully strange. Are you trying to intentionally mislead me, though? Excuse me. Min tried to- Oh, that's true! I forget! No wonder Turek has such, such trust issues. Min tried to mislead me during the previous investigation. Right now, I cannot trust any that any of you are innocent. The less you try to force my speculation, the better. Um, that's true. I could be leading you down the wrong line of thought, whether intentionally or unintentionally. Even so. But now that you're cautious, all you need to do is keep an open mind, right? I suppose. Maybe. Um, it could be that. Actually, I still need to confirm it. Teruko, come here. What? Ow! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? When you suddenly rip adhesive off someone's skin, it leaves a red mark. <laughs> I kind of feel like there was a better way you could have tested that. <laughs> no, that was the only way. See? Also, I'm kind of sick of our shit. Take a look at Ari's uh. wrist. Okay, ah, they're a little red. 
It's possible that the risks were bound at some point. Okay, interesting. At least that's what I suspect. Whether you agree is up to you. Let me check the rest of her body. Other than her broken neck, I can't find any other injuries. Okay. Huh. Seems like they would have done a really good job of making it seem like it was self-inflicted. Unless it was self-inflicted, which that's still, like, you know, a possibility, I guess, at this point. It just almost, like, it feels like it would be too obvious if it was, you know what I mean? And thank you, Finastro. One episode may be age-restricted, because I don't know, YouTube's rules are really inconsistent and vague. Like, Danganronpa, a franchise known for being part of the death game genre, contains violence. Death and murder? Oh, what? Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like... I feel like there's a pretty good chance it's gonna get age restricted, or at least like the chat might get nuked because we'll have to edit her body. But yeah, I was like, I don't know if I should just like use my face cam to cover it up, but I was I was thinking the same thing. And thank you, Kyrie, Veronica, slap me next. <laughs> Down bad. Down bad in the chat, as per usual. I carefully checked her body. Like R2O said, her neck was definitely broken. And I didn't find any other abnormalities on her. Um, next. What happened to the motive? Did someone ask about the motive? That motive is totally important because it might clue us in as to why the killer would murder. Mono TV was about to reveal them but was interrupted. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I was like, crap. I meant to take notes of whose, like, secrets were revealed and stuff, too. David had said his secret. We found out Nico's secret. Um... <laughs> like who else? <laughs> Jay's secret. I'm trying to think of who else. That's right. Then reveal then reveal what the secrets are. It's only fair since some of us already had to share their secrets. Hang on. Hang on. Mono TV said that it would be it would release the motive only if a murder didn't occur in the allotted time span. Bro, you're the most nosy out of all of us. Why would you stop him? But a murder has indeed occurred, so then Mono TV is not obligated to share those secrets. Oh yeah, RAs. That was hers too. She revealed hers too. Ugh, wait, you actually kind of have a point. When's the last time anybody saw RA? Yesterday lunch. Also at lunch. Yeah, lunch. Yeah, I saw her at lunch, and I didn't see her afterwards at all until now, so I don't think anyone saw her after that. In that case, the potential time of murder is from noon yesterday to 8 a.m. today, which is rather broad. Okay, noon to 8 a.m. Damn, that is a really broad. Even if Mono TV refuses to share the secrets, that would still yield valuable information, which is telling us that the murder had occurred before the deadline. That deadline being... Um, oh, when, it, when exactly is that? The deadline would have been, oh, hey, hey. Oh, this is the long con, huh, David? So we can still learn his secrets, right? The deadline would have been 8 a.m. this morning. Or wait, actually, technically, if she died. No, wait. Uh, she would have died. Damn it, she would have died at 8 a.m. So we don't get to hear the secrets. <laughs> Damn it. If Mono TV shares the secrets, it means that she died mere minutes ago. Which significantly narrows down the time range of her death. Sorry to burst your bubble, but perhaps you should think of it less as commit a murder before the deadline and more as body should be discovered before the deadline. Okay. Since we got to this point where I nearly gave you all the motives before I was interrupted, I'm going to continue to reveal them anyways, regardless of when R.A. died. Ugh. I see. Okay, so wait. Okay, sweet. So it's like, cool, that's all I need to know. So we are getting the secrets, yes. I'm nosy. I want to know. Uh. I want to the tea. I see. Oh. Then what are everyone's secrets? It kind of seems like it's weird that he's all of a sudden like, now I do. I don't know. It kind of seems like he doesn't want Mono TV to share the secrets. It's a little, it's a little weird. It's like, were you being honest about your secret, David? Oh, but I'm not revealing the secrets now because it'll distract you from the investigation. Come back later to see what the motive secrets were. <laughs> To be continued. Okay. Hey, don't give me that glum look. Here, I'll give you some useful information. See those lights up there? I had to turn them off because they were flickering. I guess they broke or whatever. Oh, interesting. So... Then those lights being broken have something to do with RA's death. I don't know. Problem, of, uh, problem so maybe. Hard. Why is it that there is always some lights being broken? I need to invest in some more durable houseware. Oh, God, my producer's gonna be pissed at me. Then moving on, it looks like there are some scuffs on the ground here. I'll check that out. Oh, wait, did Wit? 
I think Wit said his secret too, or he said he thought that his secret was that he was like, bi, right? I think it was something like that. I guess, I think he said that, but then he was like, I'm not sure if that is my secret, because you know, I got, I got tons of secrets. Oh, what the? Fish? Um, oh wait, is it from the pond? Fish? Fucking fish murderer. Gross, I stepped on a fish. What is this doing here? Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Why did you do that? You killed it. <laughs> you evil bastard. What? No, it was definitely dead before I stepped on it. That's the special breathing, air breathing fish. It was also my best friend. It seems that. Actually, there's quite a few fish scattered here and there, all dead. Interesting. Oh, sweet little Nico cares about the lives of these fish more than a human's life. Typical. Um, um it, that's not, that's not true. Just because I tried to, like, murder you, like, last night, you're gonna accuse me of that? How could you? That, that's not... It, oh. <laughs> fucking ace, dude. A, ace stomped on a Fuck fish. You. That'll be your fucking skull next once we all vote for you as the blackest. <laughs> oh my god. And come on, stop being bitter, okay? Like, Nico said sorry. They said sorry, I think. Okay, actually, I don't recall them saying sorry. But, like, look at how cute they are. They got little kitty ears. Come on, let's, let's forgive. Let's forgive and forget, Ace. The kill is obviously you, right? You gave up trying to kill me and switched targets to RA. Sorry. No, I, I didn't do this. I'm, I'm sorry. Save the accusations for the trial. Are you even investigating? Asshole. Yes, yes, I'm fucking investigating. I'm investigating where all these damn fish came from. I think... They must have come from the pond in the relaxation room, right? That's the only place that has fish. I'm kind of wondering if they, like, drowned her and then they hung her. Because I think if they killed her by drowning and then they hung her, that would still break her neck, right? I think. Eh. Eh, maybe. Nico, aren't you responsible for feeding the fish? What are they doing here? What do you want from me? Why does that mean I have? Why does why does that mean I have anything to do with it? I'm not the killer. I don't know why the fish are here. I fed them last night after I ate dinner. I didn't notice any of them missing back then. Okay, so last night after dinner. What time would that be? Like seven or six or something? What time exactly would you say you fed them at then? Um, why would I know? That's like if I asked you when was the last time you used the bathroom. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Nico is kind of getting sassier, and you almost you almost get away with murder, and all of a sudden you know they got a little I don't know they got a little sass to them now. I don't look at a clock every time I do something like I'm expecting that everything I do will end up being evidence in a murder case. Might be time to start doing that, you know, since you're in Tongan Rapa. And besides, I had nothing to do with it. It's obvious that I'm not the only person who can go into the relaxation room, so anybody else could have messed with the fish. Asshole. You're obviously coming for yourself. Stop lying. Ah. Um, these fish are as dry as a bone. Okay. Psh. Been there for a long time then? These gross things must have been here for a while if all the water evaporated and dried them up. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, like, late at night after dinner, though. So, maybe, like, midnight or something like that. I'm not so sure about that. The air circulation is very good in the playground. More so than any other room. Recall the previous crime scene. The computer room was covered in puddles of water. Listen to me. However, similar puddles wouldn't form in this room due to the circulation of the fans and the absorbency of the poured rubber flooring. Any puddles of water would dry up within about 10 minutes, I'd say. Oh, dang, so I guess it doesn't really help narrow it down at all then. What, it, what I'm suggesting is that these fish signal that there was the presence of water in this room at some point. Water that had long since dried up, leaving only dead fish. Okay. Presence of the water in this room. There was presence of this water in this room. The water that has long dried up. I guess the fish being dry would still show that it's been a while. I think that's what she's getting at. Water and broken lights. Uh. This seems awfully familiar. <laughs> Can you guys come up with a more a more original murder? Come on, we already did some of this stuff last time. Um, Ari didn't die of electrocution, right? <laughs> I checked very thoroughly this time. I can guarantee that there are no traces of electrocution. Anyway. Anyways, what I was originally trying to look at. 
The ground is scuffed up here, but it's a few yards away from the swing set where our RA is. The ground texture is easily damaged. Simply walking on it with heels seems to leave marks. Okay. Is that so? I scrape my foot over the ground, leaving scuffs. Yeah, you're right. If this ground is so easily damaged, isn't it bad material to build a playground out of? You are so quick to criticize. Why don't you try making your own killing game, huh? On a budget? Okay, network television's dying. Leave me alone. We don't have as much budget as we used to, okay? We don't have the same budget as V3. By the way, Taruko, Jay leaned in close to me. You, uh, didn't <laughs> kill Array, right? <laughs> no. Oh my god. Okay, just... Checking. <laughs> I believe you 100%, 100% bestie. Are you going to ask everyone this until you find the murderer? Don't play dumb. Heck, it's kind of a foolproof plan, come on. Um, I only asked people who have knives and other people's faces, you ass. And did my airtight alibi of no fully convince you of my innocence? To be honest, Ruka, I feel like if you were to murder someone, you do something crazy like stabbing someone 50 times and then ripping their heart out with your teeth while laughing maniacally <laughs> or something. <laughs> what? Why do I kind of ship them, honestly? <laughs> it's just that rivals to lover kind of thing, like the bickering, you know what I mean? Simply hanging seems a bit too tame for your style, you know? So you're probably in the clear this time. Huh? <laughs> what on earth is your impression of me? Do you think I'm some kind of feral animal? Never mind. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm moving on. The spinny thing appears to be wrapped in some sort of tape. Okay, the fuck did they do to her? <laughs> like they tape her to the, the spinny thing? What was that called again? It's not like a carousel, but you know. <laughs> Just like moving around. Like you get her dizzy, then you drown her. No, okay. You put her on the little spinny thing, and then you throw a dead fish at her. And then, and then she's dead. <laughs> Step one, spinny thing. Step two, throw dead fish at her. Step three, question mark. Step four, profit. It's called a carousel, idiot, not a spinny thing. Oh, it is a carousel. I thought that was technically just like the, you know, electronic ones or whatever. Um, I've never had fun a day of my life. The spinny thing appears to be wrapped in some sort of tape. I wonder why. I will not be taking any criticism. This tape is an odd texture, like sandpaper. Okay. Also, what's this? Something was haphazardly shoved underneath a spinny thing. I reached in and pulled it all out. Huh? Huh, several feet of rope. Now this is a few yards at least. Hmm. Wait a minute, haven't I seen this before? Oh yeah! Interesting. This, this is RA's custom weapon, isn't it? Uh, her custom weapon? You mean the things left in each of our rooms? Was she trying to kill somebody? Oh my god. I could see... With her personality, I could definitely see that she was trying to kill somebody and then they decided to, like, fight back and kill her in self-defense. It would be difficult for a would-be killer to get their hands on this thing. I disagree. No, that's not true. R.A. threw it out and Mono TV put it in storage afterwards. Anyone could have gotten their hands on it. Okay. Okay, is there any other evidence worth noting in the playground? So I guess maybe it wasn't. Well, I guess we'll see, but it doesn't really seem like it could have been. Or it's as likely for that to be the case, at least. I looked around briefly, but it seems that I covered everything of note here. If you're done investigating here, we can go out and check other places. Why are you still following me around? Um, I'm not... <laughs> You want to be friends so bad. You want to be besties so bad, Eden. It's okay. You can be besties with me. Taruko, maybe not so much. But Weeby slash Weedy, we're besties. Um, I'm, I'm not following you around, Baka. Investigate by yourself. If you have to rely on me to carry you through the trial, then you won't be of any help at all to anyone. Oh, okay. I went out into the hallway. <laughs> Poor Eden. Ha, huh, Rose. Oh no! What are you doing here? <laughs> sad girl. Why are you sad? Is really dead, is she? Oh uh, uh, yeah, well I guess I guess that explains why you might be sad. Her uh, shoelaces are interesting too. That's definitely definitely a look, definitely a choice. In the playground. 
Yes. Have you not checked it out yourself? No, I... I just... I just don't want to see another body ever again. So we really need her to see the body, because she's the one that has, like, photographic memory. I don't want to find out what kind of corpse Ari left. It's easier for me to pretend that nothing bad happened, and forget about everything tomorrow. That's why I'm sitting here, wallowing in my own guilt, unable to do anything helpful. She has such a pretty voice. <sighs> I'm being selfish, aren't I? You probably need me to draw a picture of the crime scene like last time. That's something only I can do that can help everyone. Sleep, man, I feel bad because she is going through it. And I'm sure this is like horribly traumatizing to look at. And especially if you have to like sit there and draw it. You know what I mean? But man, like it is so helpful for the trials for her to do that. Oh, yeah. It might be good for me to read some donations. It's been a little while. Thank you, Haunted Hayden. Excited to finally catch stream again live. I've been waiting since your V3 prediction videos. Oh, wow. Or watching since your V3 prediction videos. Oh, wow. That's that's a super long time. And it's been awesome to watch your channel grow. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And thank you. That's your first super chat, too. Oh, appreciate you. Thank you, Andrew Marsh. Hey, Weeby. What? We fan here. Sorry I've been away from your streams for a while. Hope things are going well on your end. DR4 is officially done. Maybe Let's Read could be on the horizon. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. I can definitely try to check it out sometime. And thank you, big chunk of... <laughs> Like, it's just the Kenjo icon. Big chunk of Kenjo! After stepping on the fish. Bing bong! A body's been discovered! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, Taruko, look at what you've done! <laughs> Nico's just, like, super passionate throughout the whole trial. I saw with my own eyes that bitch step on the fish. I saw her kill him in cold blood. I feel like, um... Ah, oh, crap. What's that show um, with the superheroes? Like, the messed up superheroes? It's like Amazon Prime. Oh, man. Ah, crap, why can't I think of it? The one with, like, that blonde guy, the blonde, like, white guy superhero is, like, really fucked up. But there's, like, this one guy on that show who can, like, talk to dolphins. And I remember he would just, like, have conversations with dolphins. That's what I imagine Nico to be like. Like, they're just, like, talking to the fish. Like, having a nice little conversation. And then all of a sudden, Tariko just steps on, steps on him and murders him. <laughs> yes, the boys. That's what it was. It's kind of a random name for that show. No, it's fine. I don't need you to do that. I don't know. It's like, I, I don't want, I don't want her to have to go through that, but I feel like we do kind of need that. I, I feel like we kind of need that. If I ever become over reliant on your skill, then it'll bite me back in the back if it ever turns out that you're a murderer, so I don't need you. Eh, that's a pretty good point, too. S sorry. Even so, everyone is investigating, and all I'm doing is sitting around moping. I feel like I should try and help in some way. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Why'd you knock over the trash can? I'm helping. Now my precious garbage can. Oh, that was $5. If the murder took place on this floor, then it's fair to assume that most of the evidence would also be on this floor, right? Trying to cover up the evidence, girly? After all, there's only one elevator. And more trips you make between floors, the more you'd risk being witnessed. I mean... If there's evidence that the killer wanted to get rid of, they probably would have either hit it on this floor or thrown it away. Oh, that's actually a good point. This is the only trash can on this floor. If the killer threw away anything, it would be in here. Unless, I guess it's true. Hey, Mono TV, can you answer a question for me? It is kind of stupid just to throw it away in the trash can, like, right next to the... The murder crime scene. I better throw away the selfie I just took. Like, right next to the murder crime. Oop. Oh, man. I feel like, I don't know. Personally, me, if I was going to murder in Danganronpa, I would just take all the evidence back to my room. Because, like, they never investigate the rooms, like, personally. You know what I mean? They're always just investigating, like, around the area. I always feel like that was a pretty good way to cover evidence and just be like, Um, oh, a privacy. Sorry, you can't, you can't go in my room. Like, that's just rude or something. Is the question, will you let me pick up all the trash off the floor because I'm a good and upstanding citizen who keeps her surroundings clean? <laughs> not at all. Not even no. close. There are things I can do, like taking out the trash and sweeping the floors, but there are many things that I can't do. Okay. So... You said you'd take out the trash, right? When's the last time you did so? Eat the evidence? <laughs> I guess that's a good way to get rid of it. Two nights ago. Can you imagine somebody just like vomits up like <laughs> vomits up like a bloody napkin or something though in the middle of a trial? It's like, guys, it totally wasn't 
It's like, oh, here's that, that piece of evidence we were looking for two nights ago. I see. In that case, the contents of this trash bin are even more relevant to the murder because it can only contain items that were thrown out yesterday or overnight. The only problem is there is so much stuff in here. Oh, interesting. Oh, what is this note? That's sketchy. What is this, like milk or something? Who's eating all this milk? <laughs> huh, I feel like this is gonna be important though. Now what are these? Strings or something? Like hairs? Huh. Well, we can at least try and identify the trash in here and if something is out of place, then maybe it's evidence or something. Definitely wanna put that note together. Oh, playground! Me, please, me, oh shit. I'm scared. I am so scared, RA. Would you please? Well, actually, it could be. It could have been written by RA too. Actually, the note be like, I am so scared, Bestie. Please meet me at the playground. I'm not gonna try to off you or something. I mean, that could be the case, but I don't know. I don't know. There's like paintings and stuff too. That'd be like what Rose did before or something. Eating, <laughs> eating milk. I'm tired today, guys. These cups I used to paint. The tissues too. Palette stuff from painting. This looks like food, utensils, napkins. Sometimes people come down here to eat, right? There's burnt incense as well. Oh, that's what that is. From the relaxation room. You know, it's after you murder somebody. It's always nice to go go relax in the relaxation room. You know, where all the fish you just killed used to live at. These are, in, these are in empty water jugs. The mini fridge in the fitness room has water, so it's probably normal. Okay, water jugs, that makes sense. It, it looks like milk though. But why are the handles broken? This looks like scrunched up tape. People use tape for a lot of things. I guess this is normal too. But there was tape on the on the spinny thing, as Taruko puts I it. Think. I think this is definitely the same kind of tape used to wrap the spinny thing. It has the same texture. Hmm. Um. Then is this then is this suspicious? These looks like torn up pieces of paper. Friend ever playground something. Couldn't but it. I'm like trying to read this. Keep on, please meet. I'm scared to me than ever. Friend than ever. Oh, 730, I see that. That looks important. Wait, I think this is all part of the same piece of paper, a torn up note. That definitely looks important, but I can't tell what it says since it's all torn up. In that case, I'm not really doing any investigating. I can try to piece it together, I guess. Oh, look at you, Rose. You're still gonna be so helpful. Ew. And what if you're... <laughs> girl you gotta stop you got to stop <laughs> and what if you're the killer what if when i leave you leave you to it all alone you start manipulating the <laughs> girl what's she gonna do with the paper like put it in like not an order and it says like taruko is the killer i guess well technically it'd be kind of interesting if she like wrote a different note and then tore that up and was like this is the note and from the trash can maybe taruko is right being so sus What if you start eating the evidence? Huh? What, what are you two doing messing around with the trash? You made a big mess. Yo. Looking for something? Charles, Charles was carrying something under his arm. What the heck is that? Oh, it's our old clothes. <clears throat> Interesting. That's gonna somehow come into play? What have you been doing and what is that? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? I can look at corpses. I can look at corpses, so I can enter the playground and investigate there. But I've been investigating elsewhere because I refuse to sit around uselessly. Yeah, probably for the best. Take it easy, all right? You don't have to push yourself. You do Oh, wait. Oh, so supportive. What a supportive boyfriend. A murder happened. We're not supposed to take it easy. What are you holding? Don't waste my time. No, I already answered your question. Answer mine. What are you doing floundering about in the garbage? It's not garbage. It's evidence. We found a torn up note, but Taruka won't let me piece it together. As helpful as you are, I cannot continue to rely on your skills because you could have a reason to tamper with evidence. Damn, Taruka really does have major trust issues. At the same time, if I were to piece together this note, then I wouldn't be able to investigate anymore because that would take up all my time. I feel like just have two people do it, you know what I mean? Oh my god, Walter Witt! Oh, that reminds me, I forgot to show that. I forgot to show the Reddit stuff that I saved. Damn it, I'll, just, I'll show you guys that after the uh, episode. But thank you, um, 
<laughs> Thank you, Jeff Everywhere. Rose has a rose to the occasion by digging up trash. <laughs> I got him. Thank you, Big Chunk. Speaking of eating evidence, one idea I had for a case personally was a lone case in which the body gets cooked and almost every and almost served everyone to hide it. That's like a that was like that one. Um, what was it? I guess like I want to say like not urban legend, but I guess like hoax or something that was going around the Danganronpa fandom where people were saying there was like an unused um, killing scenario where like uh, Teru Teru killed Sionji and fed it to everyone. I remember that being like such a big thing. Thank you, Jeff. Walter Witt. Charles, we need to eat the milk. <laughs> God damn it. Why did I say eat the milk? Okay. Wait, now that she said that, I gotta I gotta show you guys at least uh, at least the one Brie made. This is so fucking awful. <laughs> I hate it so much. We need to cook, Charles. We need to cook. Oh, my God. I can't zoom in anymore, but I want to see. I want to look into his eyes. I want to become one with Charles, with uh, with Walter Witt. Oh, man, thank you, Bree, for that monstrosity. We can look at the other Reddit posts maybe after after we finish this episode. At the same time, if I were to piece together, it would take In too much of my case. time. You're right about Rose tampering with evidence, and all you need is another witness to watch over her, right? I can do that since I'm here. I mean, unless Charles needs me for something. You know, like to hold hands or something. Go ahead, I'll be fine. Um, I overheard what you were talking about. I can help piece together that note, too, since I'm not super good at investigating anyways. Aw, Eden. Ugh. How uh, I don't trust both of you. Stupid, are you? Why are you so stubborn? Listen, Turuko, I understand that you believe it's best to rely on only yourself. Maybe if we had more time, I'd let you do things your way. But that's an unrealistic ideal. No single individual is capable of doing everything they need solely by themselves. You have no choice but to rely on other people to help you, no matter how little you trust others. That's how a rational world works. Fine, Rose, Eden, Wit. You can... Okay, as long as we have three witnesses, though. Thank you. Thank you, Teruko. It's like, damn, what did Eden ever do to you? Attention, everyone. The motives are now available. Please. Oh, yes. Finally, some tea. Finally. Please come to the movie screening room to view them. Man, I should have made some tea for this episode. I'll check that out in a bit. Charles, what are you holding? I found this in the dress-up room. Isn't this your old clothes? Hmm, I guess we'll uh -huh. see. Well, this is my stuff, and some of whose old clothes, too. It's all stuck together. Gross. Is this starch? Who did this and why? <laughs> Trying to make it into a basketball? Yeah. Regardless of my exploration, I looked through the entire second floor, but the only place of note is the gym. Okay. The gym. I feel like we should be looking at the relaxation room there, too, honestly. Come with me. Look. What's wrong with the gym? Did anything change after Nico's attempted murder? N uh, Nico's what now? <laughs> oh, whatever. Okay, fine then. I won't ask. Oh, I suppose that explains it. You didn't hear about that, dude? How do you know where Nico's attempted murder took place, though? Both Nico and Ace refuse to talk about it in detail. Okay, I guess he just didn't know where it took is. place. I was a witness, actually. The gym used to be in more... Disrepair than this, but I suppose Mono TV did a surprisingly decent job fixing it up. Uh. Clearly, it forgot to fix the fan Nico broke, though. The fact that the gym was apparently restructured recently, while no one was paying attention, makes it that much harder to determine if the murder did anything. The murderer did anything to the gym for Ares' murder. Okay. I guess we didn't really investigate it too good after Mono TV was like done cleaning it and stuff. Thank you, Fallen Redditor. Charles, best character, best boy. I know. I love Charles, too. He's awesome. Can you try and recall what changed after Nico's murder? Let's see. Let's see. My memory isn't perfect, but I think the gym looked like this during the event. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the fan. So the fan's just the only thing on that side. I don't want to maybe uh, compare these. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's the wire, too. Then, like, a broom as well. Even so. Even then, people take things out of the gym all the time outside of murder. For instance, Ace took a fitness band out of here, and I took, um... Uh, <laughs> what did you take? 
Uh, wow. Now doing. Um, <laughs> the entire contents of the Never mini fridge. Uh, listen, the exact details aren't important, okay? I'm just saying that a lot of unaccounted changes happen in every room, regardless of murder. And <laughs> a little blushed. It's so rare to see her blushing. That aside, to make good on time, I think I should quickly check over the rest of this floor. <laughs> Press pause to view the map. Okay. I feel like we should be looking at the relaxation room. I just kind of want to know how many fish were spared, though, too. I'm just curious. I looked through the fitness room, dress up and relaxation room, but nothing else struck me as noteworthy. But I want to know about the fish! I hope we hold a funeral for them. I ended up- <laughs> I can see Nico doing that, like, <laughs> in the next chapter. Here lies Fishy, Fishy Desu-chan, <laughs> and their beloved best friend, Fishy, Fishy Desu-chan. <laughs> they both have the same name. Don't- don't judge them. <laughs> I head up the floor of the movie screening room to see the motives. Oh my god. I'm so this excited. Is what you've all been waiting for. Yes. The reveal of everyone's secrets. I've been waiting for it at least. <sighs> Stop that every time someone walks in here, you cover the screen with a blanket so that you can dramatically whip it off. Um, okay, some of us have now stage presenting. presence. <laughs> some of us believe in entertainment, okay, Levi? Drum roll, please. Hey! Motives. Okay. Did he give like a guess to every? Okay. He gave like a guess to all. Okay, I gotta take a picture of this. This looks really important. Da -da -da -ba -da 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 -da. Oh, is this like who got each motive? Or wait, is he putting? Is he guessing who it was? Wait, who the motive belongs to? Or? Okay, yeah, yeah, no, it's, uh, who got the motive. So Ace got Nico's motive, and there was nobody accepted you because of your identity. And then RA got your murderer, you hold no remorse. Wit got you exist to manipulate others. Everyone else exists to be taken advantage of. Your body, Nico, got, your body is falling apart, but you'll still, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no, who has that one? I think I could see Arto having that one since he's so obsessed with, like, looks and stuff. Charles, ever since you kissed her, you were afraid your sexuality would ruin your friendships. Oh, we got, okay, okay. We got a fellow, okay, a fellow GL here in the killing game. Oh, I wonder who that belongs to. Um, you hide your name and birthright to protect that you aren't the daughter of Mary Bella Rosales. Okay, we already knew that one. Levi, blackmail, rumors, lying, stealing, slander. You did everything you could to ruin your sister's lives. Okay, so Levi got that one and that one was RA's. Xander, I guess Xander would have gotten. <laughs> I just kind of laid it on his uh, on his dead body, but allegedly he would have gotten. You always treated the competition with ruthlessness, but poisoning them to win was a bit. It was a bit far, wasn't it? Isn't that for Ace, he seems like the type <laughs> to fucking start poisoning people. We got a girl kisser. Yes, slay. We stand. I don't know who she is, but I love her. <laughs> but I love her and I stand her forever. Thank you, Fallen Redditor. You have no idea how much angst these create. Oh, I bet. I freaking bet. And thank you, Moo Moo DeCow. Don't forget to drink your milk, Weeby. I feel like I gotta always say that. <laughs> like the vegetable voice from Undertale. Uh, wait. <laughs> thank you for, uh... Hey, it's not drink your milk, it's eat your milk. Um, excuse you. Are you even a cow? Are you even a real cow? No, I'm just kidding. Thanks for the, uh, don't know. Appreciate ya. Your motives. I guess they're probably gonna go through these anyways, but I still want to read them on my own. Constantly blaming yourself for the death of your parents and siblings. It doesn't matter that it's not your fault, just that you didn't go with, ooh, go with them. Your mother is dead. You always admit that, tr Jesus Christ. <laughs> these are so, these are so deep. Your older brother died. You don't remember him at all. And that was the one that was for Charles. Your younger sister killed, <laughs> oh my God. Your younger sister killed herself because of you. You should have never, Jesus Christ, girl, what is this? You only took on your talent to distract from your incessant need to harm yourself for fun. Oh my God. You were quite the hopeless child. Dying once wasn't enough, so you attempted suicide. Through. Jesus Christ, these are so much. You took on your talent to earn money for your family, but you've since put them, okay, that was Rose's. No one accepted you because of your identity. That was Nico's. How could I even select what secret to be your motive? Just about everything you've done in your life is worth killing for. 
the killing game is all your fault. Oh, what the fuck? Is that my secret? I feel like that might be mine. Because, I mean, like, there's something up with Taruko and her, like, bad luck and her connections to people. I don't know. The correct connections to this killing game being a thing. I feel like... Because, yeah, Xander got that note to kill her and all that shit. I don't know. I feel like that one's Taruko's. Like I said, I don't know whose secret is whose. This board only shows who was given that secret. You still have to figure out who those secrets are actually about on your own. Also, yeah, David... He said, my, my family has depression or something, but um, it didn't, I didn't see that one on here. I mean, I guess there's some maybe that would like allude to that, but I guess maybe as well, he's like, oh, I'm going to say what I think my secret is, but it might not actually be my secret. Or I'm going to say my secret, but I'm not going to give like the nitty gritty details of like what is involved in that secret. There was like one... Is it like maybe the one that men got would be David's? Constantly on yourself for the death of your... Well, there was like some other sewer slide ones though, I think. I don't know. I feel like his probably has to do with some of that stuff. Or maybe... Oh man, would he have the one that Veronica got? Ugh. Like I said, I don't know. You have to figure out whose secrets are actually about your own. <laughs> trauma, 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 trauma. And girl love, <laughs> as it should be. <laughs> As it should be. And that's why this is the best fan game. <laughs> oh. Huh? Wait, why is Xander? What if it's... It was like, it'd be so funny. Ever since you kissed her, you were afraid of your sexuality would ruin your friendships. What if it's like... It's like, what if it's actually about like Charles or something? It's like, my parents always wanted me to be gay. They were so sure. I mean, listen to me. I have the Mikado voice for God's sake. But then one day, I realized I was straight. And now, me and Wit can never be together. The fangirls, they're gonna be so upset, Weeby, you don't understand. That's my trauma. Wait, why are Xander and Min here? Aren't they dead? What's the point of giving them a motive? I don't know. I told you, even the dead get to participate in my motives. Just because they're dead, I don't want them to feel left out. Besides, it's not like I would have known in advance. You would have survived to this point. So I made a motive for everyone. Think of the audience. And then since I happen to have Xander and Min's motive, I might as well share them. Sunken cost, you know, besides. Isn't it more exciting this ways? This ways? <laughs> I can't believe I stared at each secret on the board. I was kind of reading chat too. How <laughs> did Charles straight propaganda? <laughs> oh God, you guys know he's not. <laughs> you guys know there's no way. There's no way that man's straight. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. I carefully stared at each secret on the board. I, think. I can tell which secret is supposed to be mine. Whoever received my motive never reached out to me. Okay. I feel like it probably is, you know, the one that David got. I think so. Hey, you finally got your trauma dime. Ah, oh, finally. Thank you, Super Panda BS. I guess I can read some of these other ones too. I get the trauma trauma. Girl love. <laughs> Thank you, Crook of Answer. I love that. And thank you, Sierra. Dang, give all these guys a hug. I know, right? They've gotten, they've really gone through it. I was like, Jesus, where'd you, you guys just like use trauma as a part of your casting process? And thank you, Jeff, who Charles got. <laughs> I kissed a girl and I liked it. Oh wait, that was the one, that was the one literally Charles got too. <laughs> he got his own secret. Oh God, that's so cruel, Mono TV, to torture him like that. <laughs> to torture Charles like that. He already has the worst trauma out of everyone. I can tell uh... which secret was mine. Hey, I was looking at that. Someone's coming in, I gotta do this again. Come on, I gotta be dramatic, okay? Hello, I was here to see the motives, but are they under that blanket? What you've all <laughs> oh my god! For. It's a line every a time. Of <laughs> I love modern TV. <laughs> I love that face too. That's so beautiful. <laughs> oh. Now presenting. Drum roll, please. <laughs> I love modern TV too. Honestly, same. Your I would want to be extra about it too, you know? Like, we ruined his moment earlier, so let him have this. I have to say. Hum, I see. Some of these are rather interesting, don't you think? Ooh, creepy sprite. Hmm. What's with you? E e excuse me? You've been nothing but inconsistent, insisting that everyone share their secret, then asking that Mono TV not reveal them, then coming here to look at them anyways. Uh, what's your goal here? Do you really believe that? 
You're running my actions in bad faith. If Mono TV may- I just like to stir the pot a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. It's just kind of fun. It's like, I don't want this game to be boring. I mean, like, wouldn't it suck if our season of Danganronpa got the worst ratings? Uh, I could never- I could never live with the failure of that. If Mono TV made these motives public to everyone, then it's in the interest of solving the trial uh, that I- Spare me your excuses, because there's one more reason that I have to be suspicious of you. Your so-called secret that you have a family history of depression isn't on here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Huh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. I feel like it probably is true, and like he was, just wasn't telling like the full, um, you know, extent of it. You know what I mean? I feel like it probably has to do with maybe like the sewer slide ones. I feel like the one maybe like you attempted, uh, you know, unaliving three times. I feel like that's probably his, the one that Veronica got. But we'll see. Because I think that would make the most sense. But but, but we'll see. Oh, I suppose it is. <laughs> Interesting. It would be kind of funny if you just like made something up though. <laughs> it's just like, I'm just going to make something up so I can hear all the tea that everybody else said. It's like, I actually don't have a secret because I'm perfect. What? Don't pretend to be surprised. That should have been the first thing you noticed. Did you lie? Hmm. <sighs> Of course not. I suppose I mistakenly thought that secret of mine would be the motive. When evidently it was actually something else. Then which one is yours? Tell me, since you're all about sharing secrets. Oh, call him out, girly. Get him. Seriously, will you just shut up already? Okay, please. Hmm. Okay, <clears throat> investigation oh. is over, everyone. The trial will begin shortly. Getting heated, heated. Please gather in front of the elevator and go to the trial room. He has been weird though, this chapter. Hey, you heard me, you should get going. Oh, is that the end of the episode? Oh no, here we go. We all board the elevator in silence, preparing ourselves for what would happen next. As usual, silence. Damn it, I wanna know his secret. Oh, the rumbling of the elevator could be heard. Oh god, this, there's gonna be so much drama with the secrets, like everybody. Oh my god, I cannot wait. I cannot wait till we get to the trial, dude. The door is open on the class trial. Mm. Are we all ready? Let us begin the class trial to identify the blacken that killed R.A. Nagashi, the ultimate bowler. So sad. Oh, when man. the murder and motive is completely Aww. different from the previous trial, how will you fare? All right, will no, things turn out so the sad. same as last time? Or will you all come to the wrong conclusion and perish? <laughs> Welcome oh, to the Xander class too. trial. It's hard for me to feel as bad for Xander, though. <laughs> Just to be real. <laughs> like all the other characters, I'm like, oh, I feel so bad for them. Xander, I'm like... He had it coming. <laughs> he had it coming. I love Xander. He's like still one of my favorite characters, you know, like in the series, I'd say. But if anybody had it coming, <laughs> it was Xander. <laughs> I think we could probably all agree with that, right? But yeah, I'm excited for this drama, for the tea, having to see everybody talk about their secrets and stuff. But yeah, I want to give a shout out to the Reddit because I meant to do that at the beginning and I totally forgot. It's all pictures of wit, basically. <laughs> But this one's by Outrageous Tax 9209. Oh man, remind me of how I just did taxes recently. Ugh. He's a special little guy. Oh, he's so cute. I'll try to I'll try to start associating the word tax with this picture. So so I enjoy it more. And then of course Bree's monstrosity. Horrible. Horrible. An abomination. An abomination on our on our society. When like you ever want, what was that quote from like Spy Kids? It was like, you ever wonder if God like lives in heaven in fear of humans because of like what he's created? I think, I think this picture sums that up pretty well. God's terrified in heaven right now looking down on this. And then this was the one I think that inspired it because we were talking about this on the Discord. <laughs> and uh, Plushy Guts made this one. Uh, good old, good old original Walter Witt. And then uh, these are just some doodles that I found. So, so that everything's, you know, not wit. <laughs> this one's by Spike, Spike No. I thought these were really good too. Taruko being girl boss, as always. 
Eden simping. <laughs> Eden simping so hardcore. Maybe Eden's the one with the girl love motive, actually. She does kind of give some girl love vibes. Then there's Veronica and Ra, who's totally not dead. And there's Wit. <laughs> you can't escape me, Weeby. I'm in all these boats. Okay, he's just too popular. He can't help it. And thank you to, um, let me look at some of these other uh, donations. Thank you, Chubaluba. 85% of these secrets are so heavy. My heart can't take it. I know, they are really heavy. But also, drama. <laughs> like, but also, but also I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of stoked for the drama it's going to cause. I don't know, man. They are really heavy, though. It's sad. But I, I am excited to see how, uh, you know, it goes talking about, like, them all, like, talking about it in the trial. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Thank you, Big Chunk. David's secret is that he kissed a girl, and then that caused the depression. <laughs> that is so sad. <laughs> that That is so tragic. And thank you, Stinkfly3. Fun fact. What's clothes match the bi pride flag? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, we love, we love a bi king. Thank you, appreciate you. Okay, let's let's get to the tea. It's like they all have to deal with these awful atrocities that happen to them, and I'm just like, hey, yes, spill. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Despair time. Class trial in session. I hope you're all ready for another super exciting show starting class trial. Normally the saying is show stopping, right? But in this case, the show's only getting started. How thrilling and how witty of me to think of that. <laughs> Wait, what do you think about that one, Wit? <laughs> you like it? You like it? And thank you, Fallen Redditor. I love how the entire DRDT cast is made up of hypocritical a-holes. <laughs> Everyone hates each other except for Eden and Wit. Realistic skill and game attitude. I know, that's why I like this one so much. I feel like the dynamics are so fun. And uh, thank you, Yoshi Din. Wish we got to hang out with Ari a bit more. I know, yeah, hopefully we get at least some like free time events with her. Um, Cause I know they did that, or they made some free time events after the last chapter released. And maybe once this one uh, finishes after the hiatus, we can get some more time with Ari. Just get on with it. During this class trial, you must discuss the evidence amongst yourselves and reach a conclusion of who the Blackened killer is. If you vote for the correct Blackened, then only they will be punished. But if you vote for the wrong person, then everyone besides the Blackened will be punished. And that person alone will be allowed to leave the show. That's all I need to say. Let's begin discussing. How God, I've heard troubling. that a million times. I can't believe we have to do this again. How horrible that yet another one of us died so soon. <laughs> to think that once again the murder is one of us. How bothersome. <laughs> Ari, why? Why did this happen? What'd she do to deserve this? No one deserves death, and yet here we Don't are. Don't waste my time. Quit whining, all of you. If you have to survive past this class trial, then get serious and start discussing. Do me a favor and go over the basic details of the case so that I can get caught up. <laughs> Freaking Charles. He has a good reason for not looking at the case, but uh, I don't know, it's just kind of funny. He's, he's giving tell me, tell me, tell them Nagi energy. Except tell me. <laughs> tell, tell me energy. Get off your high horse. If someone is asking for a favor in a roundabout way, you sure being awfully rude. It seems that... Arya's body was found on the playground not long after the morning announcement today. In the midst of Mono TV's motive reveal. Her cause of death seems to be a broken neck. It appears that she hung herself. The time of death is unknown. The last time anyone saw her was last lunch. And the murder surely must have happened before the motive announcement. Because everyone except her was present then and couldn't have killed her. Okay. Must have been before the motive announcement, yeah. The murder has to must have occurred sometime between 8 a.m. Between noon to 8 a.m. So, the next day. Then where do we begin this time? Uh, maybe start by figuring out the murder weapon. It's obvious. The murder weapon was the road, obvi. But the last trial, we spent a good amount of time thinking the murder weapon was a knife. When it wasn't really. Perhaps we should be so quick. We shouldn't be so quick to assume the murder weapon, hum? Seriously? What do you think it is? Do you think the killer used the rope as a wire to electrocute her to death or something? Yeah, it's just like the last trial, for real. 
Isn't it obvious that we should talk about this first? Isn't it obvious what we should talk about first? Now, our motives. Those are the biggest clue we have. Yes, Taruka, you were just like me for real. Let's get to the drama. I don't care about the time of death or like, you know, all that other crap, the murder weapon. Let's just get to the tea. Get to the tea, girl. Let's not, let's not even, let's not waste any time. But knowing what the motives are, we may be able to identify a killer. The objection, you just want the tea. You too, David. So then everyone, oh my gosh, she's just like me for real. Spill! Spill that tea, sweetie! Jeez. Oh, you mean share the secrets we received? That's not very nice. Yes, and the killer isn't very nice for not coming out and admitting their crime right now. She's got a point. Do you even care if you're exposing a secret that isn't yours? We were given motives to commit murder. The importance of a human life is greater than some measly se <laughs> measly secret. Half these secrets were like so messed up, dude. About like unaliving or murdering people or starving yourself. Yeah, it's just, you know, measly secrets. Just, you know, teeny tiny secrets. That's why we should all reveal whose secret we received. Oh, one more thing. Ooh. If you have any dumb comments, keep them to mm. yourself. <laughs> Everyone's account. Okay, nice. Oh, oh, interesting. It's like a little mini game type of thing. Oh, here we go. So, I'll go first. I received Rose's secret. You took on your talent to earn money for your family, but you spent them. But since you put them in a lifetime of debt. Next. All right. Blackmail rumors, lying, stealing, slander. You did everything you could to ruin your sister's lives. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm keeping this one to myself. You're quite the hopeless child. Dying once wasn't enough, so you attempted uh, unaliving three times. I think that's David. I think so. A little mystery makes this trial more exciting, don't you think? Oh my god, girl. <laughs> Come on, we don't want bad ratings. Come on. We lame to be the worst, Danganronpa. Let's make it interesting. Um, you exist to manipulate others. Everyone else exists to be taken advantage of. Come on, Wit. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna say either. Damn. Why are you guys all so, like, upstanding all of a sudden? Um, I suppose... <gasps> yes! I knew it! I knew it! I fucking knew Eden was a certified girl kisser! Yes, let's fucking go! Oh my god. Who has a big fat crush on Taruko? <laughs> I suppose giving Taruko the motive I had was unnecessary. I received Eden's motive. Yes, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Yes. Ever since you kissed her, you were afraid your sexuality would ruin your friendships. Called it. Uh, oh, Nico. <laughs> it's okay. Take your time, buddy. Oh, Ace is going to say it. Oh, yeah, well, he already said his. So you already know that I have Nikos, whatever. Um, I'm really sorry, but I threw mine away without even looking at it. Oh, okay, interesting. Your mother is dead. You always omit that truth. I thought that since it was a murder motive, the best thing to do would be to not look at it. Yeah, that makes sense. She's so pure. <laughs> Suddenly my lips are sealed. How could I even select what secret to be your motive? Just about everything you've done in your life is worth killing for. The killing game is all your fault. Oh yeah, I think this one was Taruko, so he'll probably spill. I'm sorry, but do you mind if I go last? Okay. Special privileges. You had your name and birthright. Oh yeah, bleh, we already need that. If you didn't already know this one, then you should be ashamed of yourself. How dare you not recognize her? You only took on your talent to- Oh, you only took on your talent to distract your- Incessant need to harm yourself for fun. Oh, Jesus. That one's so bad. I'm terribly sorry. I know this is selfish of me, but I cannot share mine. Oh, man. Yo, wait. I just realized which one is mine. It's the one Rose has. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what was the one that Rose had? Your mother is dead. You always admit that truth. Oh, okay. Okay, so that one's wit. Interesting. Silent. <laughs> Take your time, all right. We'll, we'll, we'll wait. It's okay, sweetie. Take your time. <laughs> no, guys. Let's let it, let's give her some more time to explain her motive, guys. I'm sure. I'm sure she's got a lot to say. 
You want her brother died, but you don't remember him at all. I'm like, why am I surrounded by dead people? This freaks me out. Oh, it was Charles. Anyway, I already shared mine. It's Charles, in case you forgot. Oh, maybe Veronica? Oh, I could definitely see that being Veronica's. That's true. <laughs> okay, Xander. Come on, Xander. Let's spill some tea. You like tea, right? Man, so much silence today. It's so sad. Constantly bim yourself. Oh, I guess I should look at Xander's. You always treat the competition with ruthlessness. Thought poisoning them to win was a bit too far. Oh yeah, I kind of thought that was aces. Constantly blaming yourself for the death of your parents and siblings. It doesn't matter that it's not your fault, just that you didn't go with them. Who? I don't know why. She kind of gives me, I don't know, trauma vibes. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Your younger sister killed herself because of you. You shouldn't have, you should have never left. Jesus. Don't think I'll forget about you, David. Confess. Uh, but Ari hasn't gone yet. Come on. <laughs> you can't expect me to go before Ari and Xander have gone. And men too. Come on. Xander. Oh. Oh. Okay. Really? Xander was definitely super sus too. <laughs> Poor fucking David, dude. <laughs> He's got the shit stick in this game, man. He really does. Was close with Xander. Xander died. Now the killing game was allegedly Xander's fault. Got close with Ra. She died. Starting to think you're the ultimate unlucky student. Great. Excusing the dead, there are quite a few of you who think that hiding someone else's secret is more important than your life. What good reason do you have to hide a secret that isn't even yours? Oh yeah, let me read some of the donations since we finished that scene. I think, uh, there we go. Kinda had that slightly zoomed out. Okay, um, let's see. Um, did I read Yoshiden's already? Thank you, Yoshiden, for the donation. I got deleted it, I can't remember. I can't remember what it was actually, so I guess I'm good. <laughs> Chupaluba, Sarah, thank you. Obviously I won't spoil. All I'm gonna say is that this trial is good. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, I'm, it's already good, dude, with all these secrets. And it was going to be interesting. Thank you. Someone unknown. What rides a bike since he's a bike king? <laughs> I could literally see him saying that. That's awesome. Thank you, Big Chunk. It truly was Eden and Lilith this whole time. I knew it was Eden, dude. I knew it. My gaydar is never wrong, especially when it comes to women. <laughs> that is something I pride myself on. Fun. It keeps getting into this thing. Are you serious? Because it keeps, because it keeps getting interest. It keeps things interesting. You're gonna watch and laugh as we get killed, you maniac. You know. It's not every day that we get to solve a murder. Shouldn't you save for these few class trials we have? Oh, they're so fun! Come on. It'd be a massive shame if it went by too quickly and without any intrigue. At most, you'll experience only five more of these class trials. And certainly much less if you die earlier. And the more trials that happen, the less people there will be. Ugh, you know... I'm like trying to think of like... I feel like it's kind of hard with Danganronpa because there's so many like dark things to talk about. And it's like I want to tread it carefully. But I could see the cutting self one being about Veronica too. Because she covers up like almost the entirety of her arm. I just noticed that... You know, like, I feel like that's kind of often where, you know, people do that. Uh, I feel like that probably is hers. This is the last time we'll have to solve a murder with this many people. I want to make sure I'm not disappointed. You know, she's just living her life. <laughs> you know, like, might as well be positive when you're in a killing game. Like, let's at least make it fun. Come on. Veronica, that kind of reasoning is completely unacceptable. Just die. Is that really how you think of this? It's all fun to you. Our lives are at stake. <laughs> My story's no good if there are no stakes involved. It must be bad <laughs> for vegans. <laughs> Enough. Uh. The secret share, the secret sharing stuff is unwarranted. If it's important, then it really shouldn't be shared without people's permission. Can't you solve the murder without them? What the fuck? Hang on. Was one of those secrets about murder? As in, someone here was a murderer even before this killing game? That's seriously fucked up. Which one of you sickos is it? <laughs> here we go. It That's what I'm that. talking about. Some of the secrets seem to be related to sewer slide, and Ra's method of death happens to be a common sewer slide method. That could be simple coincidence, but it could also be meaningful. 
That's why it'd be worthwhile to expose everyone's secrets. Um... Which person's secret was about sewer slide again? I'm starting to forget whose was whose. Yeah, it's pretty confusing. <laughs> right, it's a little difficult to remember 16 secrets. It's okay. No worries, I've been keeping track. Oh, thank you, Taruko. <laughs> I may not be about to get my camera out. Ah, uh, yes, perfect, queen. You're doing great. You're doing so great. Yes, I'll remember that. Oh, I do see Rose debt. Wit. <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Holy cow, is that really your, what your handwriting looks like? It's terrible. Holy cow, is oh, that there really thing. what your handwriting looks like? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> That's hilarious. How do you read this chicken scratch? Better question. How do you expect anyone else to be able to read this? Okay. Your head. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, guys, you can quit it out now. You tried to give it autograph, <laughs> but you thought every word was your name. <laughs> Listen, your handwriting looks like the oh my God. rate of a person who took every drug at once. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's turning into Ruko roasting hour. If you. Your handwriting looks like you took a seismograph, put it in a car, and drove off a cliff. <laughs> Everybody's chiming in. Wait, 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 no, I got one. Okay, let me let me tap in real quick. Can I just. Don't waste my time. Stop wasting time, all of you. If this is so difficult for you, Daruko, then I'll keep track of the motives myself. Jesus, what was that? Hilarious. Your handwriting isn't that much better, dude. It's cursive. Who even uses cursive these days? <laughs> Are you an old lady? Excuse me. Shut up. At least I don't do dot my eyes with little hearts like a preteen girl. I, I used to do that, okay? I used, to get I used to get made fun of a lot for that. Who's wasting time now? Forget it. I'm not wasting time. This is just banter. Uh, blush. <laughs> Banner. I'm not a forum moderator, dude. Also, I hardly even knew her. <laughs> Yay! Okay, done. What the fuck? The trial's done. We barely started. This is a train wreck. Uh, I don't even know where to vote for yet. I finished making my scoreboard style motive display. This should make it extra convenient to keep track of the motive. Thank God. And it has an added bonus of blasting everyone's shameful secrets for the entire trial. Ta-da! Here we go. <laughs> oh, man. Now we can take a picture of something. Because, yeah, that's just so many, uh, so many secrets to keep track of. <laughs> Witty banter. Love to see it. Go to scoreboard. I'll update it according to whatever you all agree on. There will be no input from me. Uh, oh no. Now everyone can see my secret at all times. This is embarrassing, girl. Well, I guess it's still a pretty big secret, but just compared to some of those other secrets, man, like, I would way rather have hers. Uh, <laughs> Eat it! Embrace it, girl. Embrace it. Embrace being a sapphic. We love you. We stand you. <laughs> Laugh out loud. What? <laughs> Fucking Mono TV. I love outing people. <laughs> That's literally Mono TV. <laughs> Half the secrets is just outing people. At least two of them. This is very helpful though. Now we can keep track of everyone's secrets easily. Mono TV, you know, like I'm always making or like calling like Monokuma or Monoker like homophobic, but Mono TV actually is the first homophobic one. <laughs> literally just outing gay people left and right. Okay, yeah, the pause thing. Let's see, who, Veronica, Eden, Nico, and Wit have still not shared the secrets they received? Min, Xander, and Ra, for obvious reasons, cannot share their secrets. Likewise, we don't know what the secrets are of Ace, Arturo, David, who, Levi, Veronica, Min, Xander, or me. What the secrets are? Wait, we, we got Xander's though. Unless you don't believe him. Since you're so pushy about sharing, why don't you share your secret, you hypocrite? What if I knew which one is mine? I don't want to jump to conclusions yet. She said, she was like, I know who got my secret. Now you're being sussy, Taruko. Okay, let me go ahead and read some of these. Thank you, big chunk. David, he loved, he lost. He maybe loved again, but he definitely lost again. <laughs> then he found out that his first love might have caused this killing game. Yeah. Yeah, David's... Uh... David's having a real hard time recently. And thank you again. Roasting her so hard, they're going to cause a second class trial to happen. 
<laughs> Wait, we already got a second class trial for the fish, so it's gonna technically be a third class trial. <laughs> if I knew which one was mine, I didn't- I don't want to jump to conclusions. Excuses! Hey. Nico has your secrets, all right, Ace? Your body is falling apart, but you still refuse to eat. Oh, she thinks that one's Ace's? Your body is falling apart, but you still refuse to eat. How the fuck did you know? Oh, wow, really? Did they tell you? Jesus, Sorry. interesting. What, no, I swear, I didn't. Fuck okay, you. interesting. You bastard, I'll kill you. Huh. No, Nico didn't tell me, it was just obvious. See? Okay, interesting. Yeah, I mostly thought he was the other one, the poisoning one, just because he was a jockey, because I was like, it's the most like competitive one, and that's why, I don't know, I thought it might have been his. Why didn't Nico share Ace's secret instead of trying to murder him? <laughs> I was like, you could have gotten revenge that way, uh, buddy. Because there are strict weight limits on jockeys. They often have eating disorders. It was a reasonable guess. That is sad, though. This is great! Actually, I was simply taking a shot in the dark, but you did confirm it. Shit. Aw, oh, shit, damn it! My, that actually worked. Let's keep guessing who the remaining secrets are based on what we know. After all, if someone hasn't revealed their secret already, they clearly aren't going to do so anytime soon. Get off your high horse. That's rich. Coming from someone who has the option of revealing both your secret and whoever else's secret was your motive, but who chooses to do neither. Oh, no. Um, and would you quickly reveal your own secret if you were in my place? You seem to be pretty attached to keeping that last name of yours hidden. It is true. If anyone but Art had received your remote secret, then you would be acting a lot more hypocritically right now. Don't you agree? Can you stop that? <laughs> what? Fuck off! That's totally beside the point. Can you stop speculating on scenarios that never happened? <laughs> it's probably a bad idea to guess people's secrets, given the amount of fighting we've had over this motive already. But that's what I want to see! If we start accusing people of having some of these secrets, things might get ugly. Better to only speak for yourselves. That being said, okay. Who in Eden? I didn't expect you two to, re to refuse to share your motive and remain quiet. That is true. Especially considering that both of you have always been the type to try and be helpful during times like this. I can't remember which ones I'm they sorry. had. I'm what? sorry. I okay. I simply cannot. And I am hoping that I will be able to pass the trial without needing to share my secret. I doubt that all the motives are relevant to the case anyways. I feel that. That's what I would do, too, if I was her. And what's your excuse, Eden? Hmm. Um. Don't be sussy, Eden. Don't make me suspect you. What's wrong? Um. I'm more concerned about whoever's secret Ari received, quite frankly. All right, you're a murderer and you hold no remorse. Oh, yeah, that was the one that she received. Hmm. I guess if she already knew who the person was that was, like, the murderer... Maybe she did invite them to kill them so she could like feel less guilty for murdering somebody who was a murderer to get out of the killing game, you know? I can see that being the case, maybe. Maybe. Someone who had murdered in the past without remorse. A person like that could very well be the killer now. A murderer. I was like, mm, I kind of feel like it might be Levi, honestly. Because <laughs> he had that big blow up. He just kind of seems like the type, like, I don't know, like a wadded to kind of go off the deep end, you know? Like, not think rationally and, like, make a kill of passion. A murderer. So if I didn't already know that what Nico's secret was, I'd say that would be Nico's. Huh? How could you? I would never. After all, that asshole is still a murderer. I... I, I never killed anyone. It was just attempted, okay? That doesn't count. I do like, okay, I love Nico, so don't kill me for this. But sometimes I kind of do feel like they, what's the word? I feel like they know how to work like the cuteness factor. Because like, if anybody else besides Nico had done what they did like last uh, episode, I would be like all on them. Like they, you know, I, I would be like, they did it. Like they have no remorse, but Nico is just so like, I I'm so, I'm shawy. I'm so shawy. I just, I'm so small. <laughs> I'm just so small and so cute. I could never, I could never do that, even though I literally did that, like, a day ago. <laughs> but some, for some reason, I just, I eat it up because they're adorable. I feel like, I feel like they work that. <laughs> That's just a load of crap. You were totally trying to kill me. Stop acting so innocent. Everyone here knows you're a damn murderer. Asshole. 
You definitely killed Ore. Oh, I like uh, I like how he grabs his neck too. What? No, I would never. You tried to kill me, and when that didn't work, you switched targets and tried again. A heartless monster like you doesn't even care about the lives of others. I swear, I was, I was only caught up at the time, and and I. Pretty pathetic, pathetic excuse for a killer. <laughs> You're the one who provoked them. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they they use the they use the cuteness factor. And then and then everybody's like, stop bullying Nico. And then Ace is like, the little like the little brat tried to murder me like a day ago. It's like, stop bullying him, Ace. Why are you so mean? You're the one who provoked him. You were in such a you were such a fighty little bastard. Then maybe Nico would have gone. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe it's your fault. That's what I was saying last episode too. It's like maybe it's your fault, Ace. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe it's because you're a little bitch. <laughs> uh, Jay. Oh my God, that's so true, Jay. <laughs> Thank you, Bestie. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm defending. Don't think I'm defending you, Nico. Nothing justifies murder. Even people who are shitty. There are a billion other ways to deal with conflict without resorting to something so dastric. Drastic. Screw you. Basically, you both suck and are wrong. Stop that. Stop. Stop accusing Nico. Do you even have any evidence? To be fair, they did already try to kill someone. It's not like Nico has the cleanest record in the book. But look how it they have little cat ears. Come on. They even lied to and stole from me to commit murder. Out of everyone here, they're the least innocent. I didn't, R.A., I swear. But did you not intentionally try to make a serious attempt on Ace's life? Anis, answer honestly. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, oh, yeah, I did you. that. <laughs> then I can't possibly trust you oh, one bit. Interesting. Is this what you were envisioning when you tried to kill Ace? That the trial would happen like this, but with Ace instead of R.A. dead? You thought you could just work the cute little kitty ears, uh huh, Nico? I didn't. I never thought about it. Oh, man. I could see it just being like a crime of passion, too. Because, like, Ace was being a, you know, <laughs> a super, a super big douche to Nico. So it's like, I could see it being uh, like that. But some of me kind of wonders if Nico is, you know, utilizing the cuteness factor. And thank you, Zane. All right, we're waiting. It's so weird that she didn't answer. It was kind of, you know, kind of lame of her to hold back the trial like that. You know, it's like, come on, girl. Let's let's stop being so selfish. <laughs> Thank you, Misaki. Nico's never done anything wrong in their life ever. I mean, I agree. I agree. I mean, look how cute they are. They they would never. <laughs> exactly. That's what I, I'm saying. I mean, it works. You know, <laughs> I'm saying they do that, and also that it works. Thank you, Indifference. Veronica Nation, rise. Beautiful, creepy, as it were. I like Veronica too. All the characters in this game are really good. Thank you for the dono. I, I didn't, never never thought I never about it. I done that. Uh, Don't see, try they're and sorry. The consequences of what you did simply by saying you regret it. It's like you guys still haven't yet grasped how serious murder is. Hmm. Xander said he regretted it. Min said she regretted it. But does that mean we should have let them deceive us, pass the class trial, and get us all killed? I kind of wonder if she's experienced it more than this, like firsthand. Because she's like, you guys don't seem to see how serious it is. You know what I mean? Even if you are in RA's- Also, do we need to go to members mode? I keep seeing- I haven't seen any spoiler profile pictures, but I see people talking about spoil, spoiler profile pictures, so just let me know if it'd be safer to go to members mode. I guess there might be members who have it, too, but just let me know, uh, mods. Killer. Even if the person you tried to kill is still alive, you still attempted to take a life. And you'll have to accept that some people are not going to forgive you so easily. Also, mods, you guys- if there's people that have profile pictures that are spoilers, um, what I would say to do is just, like, ask them to change it, and if they, like, don't change it and obviously ignore you, then you can just ban them from the chat. Mm hmm? Wait, Arya's killer. Is she was murdered? What the hell are you looking so confused for? You even paid attention to anything at all? Or have you been blanking out into your own happy zone again? Arya's killer. Do we really call them that? Uh, How about you not call me anything? Um, oh, when I said them, I meant the hypothetical black and not you. What do you mean? What do you mean, Rose? I was under the impression that R.A. committed suicide. Mm. No way! Wait a second! 
Hmm, because our cause of death appeared to be from hanging, right? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Even if it was suicide, we wouldn't even be having this trial. Did you even read the rules? Need I remind you of them again? Oh, yeah. Should Mod TV determine a victim has died of a sewer slide without significant outside assistance? No trial will be held. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot that was a rule in this one. That was definitely like a more unique thing. I have a photographic memory. I did read it. Actually, because I read them, I'm incapable of forgetting about Think them. Think about it. Unaliving alone doesn't yield a trial. That much is obvious, but that rule makes specific mention of significant outside interference. I guess if there's like no mystery and there's no mystery, then it's not entertaining. There's still the possibility of an assisted sewer slide, right, Mono TV? Yep. yep. Whether RA was complicit in her own death doesn't matter. All that matters is that there's a surviving participant that we can still blame her death on. Yeah. It's like, what's the point if we can't do an execution? Come on. I understand. If Ari was complicit in her own death, it would completely change the motivation of her so-called killer. And this, she was working with her killer. Then it also changes the method of murder. Ari committed suicide? No, that can't be true. Why? Huh? Why? If I think about everything I know about her, she doesn't seem to be the type to give up like that. She was determined to change. Determined to change, huh? Are we even talking about the same person? It's like, well, did Eden and Ari have some GL going on? <laughs> Eden seems so defensive. I'm sorry. You can't but... truly say you know Ari all that well, given that we've all only known each other for barely even a week. Besides, I hate to be the one to say something so depressing, but... You can't know how someone truly feels just from their external appearance. Even people who are energetic on the outside could have secretly given up all will to live. That is true. It's not something anyone likes to think about, but it must be said. Who is so wise? If we're all done with the speculation part of our discussion, does anybody have actual evidence to suggest that Arya worked with her killer? Cut that out. You sure are. Churchmental for someone who has very little to actually contribute. Framing this as whether Arya committed suicide is the wrong way to think about it as it's a little misleading. Rather, we should be asking whether R.A. Co RA collaborated with her killer, because that's much more pertinent to solving this case. No. Actually, that begs the question, can we even have accomplices in general? I thought there was only one black in per victim or a summon. I guess, like, I'm trying to think, too. It kind of seems like Mono TV is saying that, like, if you just, like, you know, assist with the murder, you would still be considered, like, the black end. So even if she was the one who did, like, the finishing blow, I guess if you still were complicit in helping her, you could get, um, you know, <laughs> executed. It kind of seems like that, maybe, but we'll see. What was I going to say as well? Um, I kind of wonder if RA... <sighs> it's, it's so early in the trial, I kind of feel like it probably isn't likely, but somebody was wondering if, like, this is the case. If she did want to unalive herself, if there's somebody, like, in here that she was close with that she wanted to be, like, I don't know, to make the black end so they could, like, escape the killing game. But then the fact that there's, like, that rule in there, I feel like, makes it harder to, I don't know, kind of make that be the plan. Because I feel like usually when that was done in, like, Canon Dog and Rampa, it was, like, because, you know, nobody expects the sewer slide thing. But I don't know. That's a good point, Mono TV. Yep, you're correct. Per the rules, only one person will count as the black end and have the possibility for escape. Even if multiple people contribute to the murder, only one person will count as the true black end. And the criteria for the true black end is what exactly? <laughs> um, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you run this killing game, shouldn't you know? Whoever is the most mastermind? I don't know. <laughs> Whoever I feel like would have a cool execution, I guess? Maybe? How stupid are you? I know your hilarious gimmick is being completely incompetent, but would it kill you to actually know how to run a killing game? When you say the most mastermind of all of them, do you mean whoever had the more active role in the murder? I guess that makes sense. I... Uh... Uh, <laughs> head empty. Mono TV was born stupid just like me. That's why I love him. I can relate to him. Eh, I, I guess. 
I'm, I'm not really supposed to talk about that criteria. What criteria defines a true black end? So I suppose you can use that as a rule of thumb for now. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm just kind of making this shit up as I go. In any case, that means there shouldn't be any accomplices, right? Because even if you help with the murder, you're risking your life to help the black end escape. Not unless they have a death wish. Which they might. In other words, Ari is her own accomplice. Yeah. I have my doubts. Ah, but in this case, an accomplice has a motive to murder, even if there is no chance of escape. That is, preventing our secrets from being revealed by Mono TV. It is true that the murder of Ari did not stop Mono TV from revealing these secrets, but Mono TV wasn't exactly clear with what condition conditions need to pass to keep our secrets. An accomplice could have been complicit in the murder solely to prevent their secret from being revealed without having the intent to escape. Okay, I guess that's true too. In that case, it's obvious we gotta find what we gotta do to find the black end. Probably the murderer one. It, it is. Yo. Yo, Mr. or Miss or M MX accomplice, speak up. Tell us what you did and who you worked with because this totally isn't worth risking your own life. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I'm in love with him. Um. Uh -uh. Well, for the shot. <laughs> no accomplice, I guess. <laughs> I am on the job, Detective Wit. I find that hard to believe. Number one, silence doesn't ne necessarily mean there's no accomplice. Perhaps they're simply ashamed or have other Enough. reasons for staying silent. Enough accomplice talk. We're getting nowhere. What? Why? Isn't discussing this kind of evidence important to the murder You're case? Wrong. You're not discussing evidence, you're discussing made-up scenarios without any real basis. Any real basis to rest them on. If you want to be open with every single possibility, then this trial will never end. What if we decide that there could be, could theoretically be three murderers as well? Four, five. Yeah, I kind of felt like we were going around in circles for a while, honestly, too. Should we discuss every possible combination of killer and accomplice that could exist? When does it end? Unless you have an actual good reason to speculate, then quit muddying the waters. That's true. Now that you mention it, it's true that the motivation to protect one's secret would be a potential motive for an accomplice to work with the Blacken to commit a murder. Okay. But that means that by the time the trial starts, they no longer have any reason in continuing to assist the true Blackened. Because of that, it would be a good deal for the Blackened to work with anyone else. Jesus Christ, this is getting so confusing. They would be safest working either by themselves or with RA, since the murder would guarantee her silence. Okay, let me read through this again. Head empty. Motivation to protect one's secret would be a potential motive for an accomplice to work with the Blackened. That means by the time the trial started, they no longer had a reason in continuing to assist the true black end. Because of that, it wouldn't be a good deal for the black end to work with anyone else. They would be safest working either by themselves or with RA since the murder would guarantee her silence. Yeah, okay. So no, no third killer. <laughs> or third accomplice or whatever. That still doesn't dis disprove the idea of RA being her own accomplice. She killed, she unalived herself, and that's all there is to it. No, Eden's like, I don't know, man. She's having a really hard time. No, that's wrong. Oh, <laughs> no, that's wrong. All right, would never do that. Uh, you the protagonist now? Teriko, back uh, me up. Tell them, Teriko. What, me? Uh, You're smart, and you always know what evidence to use during the class trials, so... Find a way to show everyone that they're wrong about Are. And you're also so pretty and so tall. Have such luscious lips. Um, you're kind of getting off subject. Also, I'm relying on you. Okay, instructions for playing nonstop debate. Okay. And leave a like on the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. This will give Taruka the middle encouragement. She needs to make the right argument. That is so true. <laughs> that is so true. I already subscribed. But there you go, Taruko. Just for you, Queen. Just for you. And uh, thank you, Yuki Conjuros. Hi, Weeby. Seven months. To spare time seems cool. Yeah, it is super cool. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for being a member for seven months. Come on, Taruka. I gave you that like. You better you better work this one. Ari helped her murderer to kill her? Mark's on her wrist. You're saying that based on nothing at all! Hmm. Isn't there evidence to suggest that Ari was fighting her killer? 
Eh. There were scuffs on the ground at the crime scene. Yeah. That must be because she had some sort of confrontation with her killer. That's not necessarily conclusive nor relevant. Those scuffs could have very easily been caused by something else. As long as we lack solid evidence to prove that Ara didn't kill herself, we can't ignore this possibility. Marks on the no, wrist. I wasn't wrong. totally sure what the significance of that was going to be. Listen to me. What about the marks on her wrist? They suggest that her wrists were bound. Yeah, that's true. Cause they said, it, I guess they probably used the tape for that. Cause yeah, that was like the. I remember um, what's her face. Veronica mentioned that like if you ripped it off, it led, it left like an imprint like that. So yeah, I guess her she was taped up. So that does imply not. Not an aliving. Yay, look at us. We helped our girlfriend, Eden. <laughs> nice. It's all because I left a like on the video. That's true. If she was working with her killer, then binding her wrist seems unnecessary, doesn't it? Can you think of a reasonable explanation for why R.A. would have her wrist bound if she was working with the killer? Oh. I suppose not. That's right, there's no way Ari wanted to die. Much less work with her murderer. She'd never work with someone to commit suicide. Oh, that's right, Eden. Hmm? Uh, what is it? Are you complimenting me? I did what you asked of me. Now it's your turn. Now you tell them, Eden. During the investigation, you were tasked with reconstructing a note. Where is it? Yes. Oh my god, we do need to see that. Actually, that makes my uh, girlfriend, R.A., kind of look bad, so I kind of don't want to give it to you. I kind of feel like R.A. wrote that note. We'll Whoa. see. Oh, wait. Actually, hmm, what's the note? I think the note was in cursive. Didn't they mention that Charles writes in cursive and that, like, nobody does that nowadays? Interesting. Just a thought. Just a thought. Hey, we should talk about alibis. Hmm. Trying to change the subject? Huh. Interesting. What are you trying to cover up with? Huh. Whoa! And we should talk about alibis. Totally not trying to change the subject right now. I bring this up right now for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Other than I suddenly and randomly decided it was yeah. irrelevant. Oh, alibis are sort of also, what are y'all trying to cover up? Y'all know we're all gonna die if we don't solve this, right? Alibis are sort of super important, aren't they? But we haven't had a chance to discuss them. I guess. Um, I saw last, I last saw Ra during lunch yesterday. Did anybody see her after that? Nope. Why don't we discuss this? I did not see her after that, and it doesn't seem like anyone else saw her either. As we've established earlier, the time range over which the murder could have occurred is between 12 p.m. yesterday and 8 a.m. of today. In that case, the murder could have potentially occurred at nighttime, which is an issue. I do not believe that the majority of us would have alibis at that time. Okay, yeah. Even if a few people can indeed account for themselves during nighttime, 12 p.m. to 8 a.m. is such a big time span that asking alibis wouldn't be very useful. Well, actually, wait, I realized something. We can indeed narrow down the time frame of the murder. Yeah, the fish, right? There's a specific piece of evidence that was found at the crime scene that clues us in as to when the murder could have taken place. That evidence is fishy, fishy, desu chan, right? Unscramble the word. Fish! <laughs> so true. <laughs> oh my god, I did it! I'm so smart. Wow, that's crazy. Wow. I like I'm so slay sometimes, it's just it blows my mind. Listen How did I do that so quickly? <laughs> Those fish that were in the playground. What fish? What do you mean? Seriously? What do you mean? What do you mean? Did you even look at the crime scene? I'm starting to kind of wonder too, just because Eden's so like defensive of the note. Well, okay. I feel like it could I feel like it could be Charles, just because that cursive thing. I feel like that kind of like alludes to it potentially being him. But Eden's like so defensive of the note. And like she's kind of, you know, she seems really embarrassed about her sexuality and stuff. So I kind of wonder if like <laughs> okay, the, maybe this is just like my GL brain, like my GL brain rot constantly. But what if she wrote the note just to like ask Ari out? Cause she seems like she's defending Ari so hardcore. It's like, girl, do you have a crush or something? Like, why are you defending her so hardcore? And then like with a note too, I feel like she's like, no, don't, don't look at the note. It's not important. Ah! <laughs> you know, it's like. It kind of makes me wonder. 
wonder if it was her note that she wrote. But maybe maybe I'll have to relook at it. Was it in cursive or was it not in cursive? Maybe I'm just a Lulu and I'm just like imagining it in cursive when it wasn't. What do you mean? What do you mean? Did you even look at the crime scene? Um. I'm sorry I didn't. It's just never mind. I'll stop asking. Oh, poor Rose. This is probably a dumb question, but I can't imagine how fish would be used in a murder. Also, rest in peace, Greg. Uh, that's not a question. Hmm. I don't know if the fish themselves were using the murder, but at the very least, it's an indication that large quantities of water were involved in the case. Obviously, they threw the fish at her. Come on. Come on, guys. It's so obvious. Think. But there wasn't any water at the crime scene. It's not the same as Xander's murder. When there were large puddles of water everywhere. It seems that... The playground is completely different from the computer lab. The poured rubber flooring... The poured rubber flooring of the playground is very absorbent. In addition, there is much better air circulation in that room due to the fans. That means that if any water was spilled, it would dry up quickly, unlike in any other room where the puddle would stay for a long time. Got him! I'm trying to think of what they actually use the water for. I'm, I was just joking about them throwing fish at RA. I'm trying to think. That, oh my god, they tried. So the fish is the murderer then. They they killed her by throwing the fish at her. So then technically when she died, you know, from the fish making impact with her skull, like it was technically the fish that did it. So the blackened is fishy, fishy Desu-chan. Oh my god, Nico is going to be in the corner screaming, crying, and throwing up when they execute their best friend. This is gonna be so sad. What was I gonna say? Oh, what they would actually use the fish in the water for. Like, I guess to like, I wonder if they're trying to clean up the scratches on the floor or something. They probably didn't realize that like, uh, I don't know, scratches would be left so easily on the floor. Sometimes when you wear like rubber shoes, you know, like you see like, those little marks, maybe they thought they could like clean off the scratches. Eh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Never mind. I have no idea. The dead fish, the crime scene, the only indication that water was used. Because there's no blood, because that's the other thing I was thinking about. I was like, to wash out blood, but there was no blood. So I don't know what they would have used it for. That's true. I see. That makes sense. <gasps> maybe they drowned, did, well, they drowned her in the bucket. Okay, so they tied up her hands. They drown her to death by putting her face in like a water bucket. Why would they why would they keep the fish in there? That's kind of fucked up. But anyways, whatever. I'm not gonna judge the killer for that. They drown RA with in the water bucket that they gather from the relaxation room with the fish in it for some weird reason. They wanted the fish to bear witness to it. And then they tied her up and made it look like she unalived herself. I think that makes the most sense. We'll see. I see that makes sense. Then what do you think the water was used for? Honestly, I don't know yet. I doubt that RA was electrocuted, so I have yet to figure out the actual use of the water. But we can use the fact that the water was used in the case to narrow down the time in which the murder took place. Finally getting somewhere! Oh, are you talking about... The relaxation room, is it? After all, the fish could have only come from there. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Are you accusing me? <laughs> Do you want to be next? That's right. The killer used the pond in the relaxation room as a source of water. Just like next chapter, Nico tries to kill who? It was an accident, guys. <laughs> Afterwards, I didn't mean to. It'd be kind of funny if that was like a reoccurring thing. Nico just does an attempted murder every chapter. That's right. The killer used the the killer used the pond in the relaxation room as a source of the water. Oh, I see. It's because the relaxation room is closed off at nighttime, right? Okay, so yeah. It was. It couldn't have happened overnight. I think, like, the piece of paper, if they would show that to us, it said, like, 7.30, so maybe, like, around that time. He did after dinner, for, so from dinner time to nighttime. Exactly, that means the murder must have happened before nighttime. During nighttime, which starts at 10 p.m., the killer would have been able to access the relaxation room to get their, um, <laughs> their fish water. Fucking weirdo. And the killer can't have committed the murder in the morning. Because then they wouldn't have been able to commit the murder in the time. To make it to the motive announcement meeting. Yeah. Cross-examination of the fish! Oh my god, if this was Ace Attorney, we would be. Around the same time that the relaxation room would have been once again at 8 a.m. Everyone except Ari was present at the motive announcement. That means the murder must have taken place sometime between 12 and 10 p.m. 12 p.m. and 10 p.m. 
Are we supposed to give our alibis from that time now? Shit, that's 10 hours. I don't even remember what I was doing that whole time. Uh, oh yeah, I was bleeding out, Nico. Now I fucking remember, mate. Oh yeah, thank you to uh, Big Chunk. Dang it, I messed up and disliked the video by accident. Now I got the bad ending. No, you cursed Taruko. She needs your help. Oh, then the Big Chunk of Mick Weeby Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. Nice, nice new name change. The fish was the accomplished. It held... It helps hold her down. I fucking knew it, dude. You can't trust Fishy Fishy Desu Chan, man. You cannot trust him. Trust him at all. Nikki, Lucky Cat, 2703 Luna. Imagine a fish execution turning into sushi. Be like, can I have some? Can I have some afterwards? You know, I wasn't really into the butter, but the, the butter that you made, you know, and dying rapa one. But hey, you know, the sushi, I think I can live with that. Even though we managed to narrow down the potential time of murder to exclude nighttime, with this discussion, that's still quite a broad time span. I have to say. I doubt that any of us could say they were completely accounted for during those entire 10 hours. Let's put it to the side for now. No more interruptions, wit. <laughs> Me? Can somebody mute their mic? Can we get a mod over here? I wanna ask what happened to that note that you, Rose, and Eden were reconstructing during the investigation. Uh, what now? <laughs> it starts to try to like gaslight her. Um, that's so crazy that you would think that, Daruko. There was like literally no note. With you. You derailed the topic immediately after I mentioned it. Don't think I didn't notice that. <sighs> but I was so smooth. Fine, fine. Eden has it, ask her. <laughs> what, you're putting all the pressure on me all of a sudden? I mean. <laughs> I mean, we did give it to you to hold on to. Since Truco is the one who doesn't trust us to be alone with evidence, and she stands next to you in the trial, we figured that she'd be the most okay with that, <laughs> maybe. See, this is why I didn't trust you, because once my back was turned, you all apparently started passing evidence around like hot potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Taruka, she's never rested a day in her life. Whatever. What's done is on. Done. Hand it over, Eden. It's like, mm, I don't want to. <laughs> um, I said hand it over, little miss. I, I would. It's just that this note is, um, it's super gay. <laughs> see. No, damn it. Oh, okay, well, I'm glad that, uh, <laughs> I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad I don't have to wait in the next episode. I like that Ari's the thumbnail for this one. Guys, she came back. She's going to she's going to explain who her uh, motives about. I knew I could believe in you, queen. I knew you'd come back. <laughs> I knew it, guys. See, I told you she wasn't dead. She was she was just faking it. Just a little haha, -ha, a little prank. Oh, thank you, Rose Graham, for being a member for 5 months. Thinking about buying another deadpan Kyoko plus as you should. As you should. <laughs> Thank you for the, uh, thanks for being a member. Appreciate you. <laughs> Sorry, Jericho, I ate the note. <laughs> it was kind of tasty, though. Aria came back from Mexico. <laughs> She's like, I hated it there. I hate margaritas. Ugh, they suck. <laughs> this annoying clown there. God, I just had to get out of there. Eden, Widow, and Rose were tasked with reconstructing a note during the investigation. Hand it over, Hi. Eden. I... Do you not have it? Uh, um, um, I, I, I do, What's but... You? Your art is suspicious for hiding your motive without explanation. Don't make it worse for yourself by hiding evidence. Hand it over. I didn't do it. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, she actually write the note? I didn't do it. Interesting. What? Whoever made this note? Oh. They're impersonating me. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine Wit and Rose putting that note together with Eden? <laughs> I'm dead. Like, so awkward. Like, putting it together and you're like, all of a sudden, like, mm. Eden, it kind of seems like you wrote this note, bestie. <laughs> it kind of seems like it, maybe. <laughs> if y'all want to put it on members mode to be safe, y'all can. I guess it seems like this might be where it gets crazy, but I'll uh, let you guys know. Uh, or I'll let you guys. I'll leave it up to y'all's discretion. You can also message Kyuse. I think uh, he has the power to do that, too. You can probably message him on Discord um, if y'all want to do that. But I think, like, Bree and Jeff might have that power now, too. But just let y'all know, because I see y'all talking about it. Whoever made this note, they're impersonating me. <laughs> I 
just like, can't imagine how awkward that would be like to be next to her, like putting it together. Like, mm, this is the worst, worst arts and craft project of my life. <laughs> the side eye. I can only imagine. All right, someone else found out my motive. Somebody else found out I'm gay. Let's go make out in the playground. That was responsible for the death of, oh. Someone found out my motive that he was responsible for the death of his sister. I didn't mean to share it. I said I wouldn't, but it slipped out. I'm scared. I think, I think I might, I think he might do something to me. Please meet me in the playground at 730. You promised to be, you promised to be my friend. I need you now more than ever, Eden. Oh, it is kind of cursive, isn't it? Charles, did you write this? Hmm. What was, whose um, thing was that? The killing of the sister or something? God damn it, we can never have a break from sisters. What is wrong with Danganronpa and sisters, dude? <laughs> Let me see if I can pull that one up. I kinda wanna look at it really quickly. Your talent, blaming yourself, always treated, hopeless child. Body falling apart, manipulate others. Your younger sister, oh, killed herself because of you. You should have never left. Okay. So it seems like, so yeah, Eden had that one. She doesn't want to share it. Who could it be? Already got Charles Witt. We don't have, I thought we said that, you know, we knew that, um, whatchamacallit. Do they think that, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, Xander, who Xander had. Okay, but we know that Xander's motive was that. How could I even select what secret to be your motive? Blah, blah, blah. You sick fuck. The whole killing game's your fault. Um, so who could it be? We have... Um, this is so confusing to look at. Did we get arts? I don't think we got arts yet. Arts? I don't think we got um, David's either. Um, quite yet. Are those the only two guys whose secrets we don't know? Maybe. I kind of feel like that might be the case. I don't know. I'll have to watch on. Or Levi. Oh, we don't have Levi's secret either, I don't think, right? I don't know. Ding, 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 ding. Eden, what's the meaning of this? I didn't do it! I told you I didn't write this! Did you try to get rid of this by tearing it up and throwing it in the trash? Oh gosh, I'm, um, I swear I'm not the killer. I've been doing my best to prevent conflict and end this killing game. It, I wouldn't murder. I wouldn't. I believe you. Your brain. A fellow, a fellow, uh, a fellow woman lover, a fellow girl kisser could never <laughs> like thinking about. It. I'm like, well, Mikan was a girl kisser and she did. Uh, she did a lot of stuff, but you know, um, that was in the AI world, so it doesn't count. Quit panicking for no reason. We're not accusing you of murder just yet. Why would you offer to reconstruct incriminating evidence Evidence, if you yourself are the killer? However, this note correctly makes mention of the motive. Oh, however, this note. <laughs> Why did I sound like Mikado for a second there? However, this note correctly makes mention of the motive that you received. Recall that which motives were given to. Whom was only made public after Ari was dead. That which motives were given to whom that which motives were given to whom only after made public after Ari was dead. Okay. That means that only one should know that you're responsible for the death of your sister is even a secret that exists. She's definitely connected to this note, regardless of whether she's the killer. Yeah. In addition, the recipient is Aure, the murder victim, and specifically asked her to meet at the playground where she died. The note is connected to the murder as well. It seems that... The snow was definitely sent yesterday, as any trash in the can from before yesterday would have already been disposed of by Mono TV. <laughs> Mono TV back and there's like, I'm literally a glorified janitor. <laughs> with no budget to make to no budget to make this killing game given that and what levi said it's likely that this note was used to lure Ari out of her murder out out to her out to her murder i i, I didn't i really didn't write it do you have any proof that you didn't that that isn't my handwriting who writes in cursive i'm not an old lady you sure? Something that girly 
looking would totally be your style. Hey, just because handwriting looks feminine doesn't mean that a girl wrote it, okay? Look, there's a sample of my writing. Okay, that's not good enough proof, I'm afraid. Yeah, for hmm. real. Do you have an alibi then? Then not specifically ask Ari to meet at 7.30. What were you doing at that time? Um, um, oh. Oh, I do have an alibi. That'd be right after dinner. I was washing dishes with who as usual, right? Indeed. Oh, that's correct. She was not in the playground at the time. I can confirm. She was with me in the kitchen. Okay, cool. Yay, alibi. So then I didn't send the note. Why would I ask Ari to meet up and then not show? Well... Maybe you were pranking her. After all, Ari seems to treat you poorly. Perhaps you were doing the same. Girl, she would never... Oh. <laughs> That's the tamest prank I've ever heard of. Okay, maybe it was her then. <laughs> she could not do a real prank. Bet you think leaving the croissant sandwich is a prank too. I swear I don't know anything about this note. I've never seen it up until now. But all the information written on the note is written on the note, correct? Answer honestly. Um, it's mostly correct. Okay, so who else would know that? Huh. Who else is Eden close with? She's close with who, but, you know, who also has, like, an alibi, so it can't be her. But I didn't share my motive with anyone, and I didn't ever ask Ari to meet me in the playground. I'm telling the truth. I promise I didn't kill Ari. I understand. If those are the only things that are false, then it's true that you're being threatened by the person who wrote you the secret whose secret you received. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. I think I might might do something to me. That's what it says here, right? Ah! Okay. I think blank. I think he is what's written there. Ah! Um. I um. Did I say Listen that? So the, it's like a. I just think it's he that was written, but it's actually she just wrote uh who. <laughs> It was who, I think who might kill me. She just decided to write her name in lowercase for some reason. It's the only other explanation, but yeah, definitely he. Um, um, did I, did I say that? Listen to me. So then if we sum up everything we know about the person whose secret Eden has, we know that it's something threatening her and it's one of the people whose secret we currently don't know and that it's a man. Huh? Wait. How do you know that's a man? You can't determine gender from a note, can you? He. The truth is. I know that because Eden let slip to me once the gender of the person whose secret she received. I was like, it also looks like she wrote he on the page, but you know. <laughs> whose mode of secret did hey! you get? I can't tell you that if it's not yours. I haven't talked to my person yet. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about the scene. If he doesn't give me the go ahead to share it, then it's definitely none of your business. <laughs> Oopsie. Come on, you think this dumbass could do a murder? Now that you said he, I know it's a man. Eve, did I forget that? Um. So. In that case, the only person this note could be referring to are the men with unrevealed secrets. Those people are. That's what I was trying to figure out earlier. David, R2O, and Levi. Oh, okay, I was right. It's not my. It's not my secret. No, is it mine? Not mine. Of course, yeah. Of course, you guys would all say that. Y'all are all so sus too. Like the three sussiest guys. Okay, so yeah, it's nobody's secret, right, guys? As if one of you is clearly lying. If you're going to defend yourself, at least say something verifiable. It must be nobody's secret. He must have just thrown that in for kicks and giggles, you know, Mono TV. He's a little prankster. He's just such a prankster. Uh, remind me which secret Eden's it's got. Obvious. It's literally right there, you dumbass. Can you not read? Yeah. I feel like at this point, if I was one of those guys and I didn't actually do it, I would just, you know, say whatever my, <laughs> you know, say whatever my secret is. I can't, po it can't possibly be mine because I do not have any sisters. <laughs> Anymore. <laughs> didn't he say something weird like that? I feel like, I feel like he said something weird about his family. Maybe he's the one with the no more family secret. I don't think we got that one yet, right? Um, where was it? Blame yourself for the death of your parents and siblings. Okay, I think it might be this one. I think it is, yeah, like the death of your parents and siblings. Not that he did it, but I feel like he did say something weird about his family. Like, uh, they're not here anymore kind of thing. I can't remember, though. I took, like, okay, so we have David, 
Um, who else? So David, Levi, and then Art. Clyde Upless Child, Tempted Sewer Slide. I think that one's David. I feel like this one's Levi. Um, so that would be R2O would be that one. Or wait. Or would that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> R2 is not really that, uh, like, sympathetic of a person. I feel like it's either R2 or David's, though. A grand and Levi could be lying, but whatever. I don't have any sisters. I'm an only child by the process of, process of elimination. <laughs> Buy right now on, uh, on Nintendo Store. It must be David's secret. Ah, oh, that it looks like I'm in a tricky situation because I do, in fact, have a sister. Okay. So you're the one who's been threatening Eden? However, this secret makes specific mention of a younger sister. Diana, my only sibling, is older than me. And the last time I checked, she was definitely alive and well. It's not my secret. My TV's like, I got something to share with you. <laughs> okay, I guess it's no one's secret. Again! I'm so fucking sick of you guys. As if. None of us could possibly verify any anything you guys are saying. <laughs> not my sister, not my sister. <laughs> not my sister. <laughs> oh, man. Wait. Okay. Arturo is lying. Ooh. Excuse yes. Me? How can you tell? Lying bastard. <laughs> this wouldn't have happened if you weren't constantly talking my ear off about how great my life is. She is the one that would hear about his life. You keep talking about my family, so of course you asked questions about my brother as well. And I remember that you said. You wish you had a brother like me, not a sister. Oh. Is that? <laughs> um. That you're supposed to cover for me, girl. Absolutely did not happen. <laughs> Julia, I oh thought the line God. was beneath you. <laughs> you know what? This actually feels kind of good. You fucked me over by revealing my <laughs> secret. Now I'm going to do the same to you. Get him. Your secret is that your younger sister killed herself. And you're the reason why. Damn. You should be ashamed of yourself, you piece of shit. Damn. Everyone, um, guys, okay, Julia is literally perfect and she would never lie, but she's just like misremembering things. Isn't that right, Julie? Jules? That is not true of me. Hey, I think it was right though. He was the one I called. I'm just re I'm just repaying your favor. It doesn't feel so good to have your secret exposed by someone now, does it? I know, I love these sprites of her, it's really good. Both of you, please, we are not doing this to get back at each other, but to solve a murder. No, keep fighting, it's fun to watch. <laughs> Can I get some popcorn? Can I get some tea over here on Mano TV? I'm not your fucking entertainment. I'm not anyone's entertainment. <laughs> um, me and 1,200 viewers have uh, something else to say. Thank you, Kuma Upa. Pop off, J. Evil Sprite. I know. God, everybody in this, everybody in this cast has an evil sprite for real. That's why I love it. And I believe. Are you or J? It's not like we can fact check anything they said. There is one person who knows the truth. Eden. Um, yeah, for real, girl. Just spill. Eden, we're wasting time. Just tell us whose secret Mono TV gave to you. It'll be all right. If you're still staying silent, because you're being threatened, don't worry. I will make sure that no one lays a hand on you. Don't make a promise like that. Are you still keeping it secret because you're trying to protect R2O? Huh. To be honest, I'm already pretty convinced that you received Arturo's secret, and I'm probably not alone in that regard. You'll only be confirming a result that everyone already knows. <sighs> okay. okay. You're right. Finally, man. Don't you dare! Okay, I kind of see why she'd be scared of him, though, honestly. I received Arturo's secret. He's a scary dude. <gasps> you pathetic little worm! <laughs> Judging by Arturo's knee-jerk reaction, that really was the truth. <laughs> hmm. I want to know this trauma dump. Oh, man. What did he do to her? I feel like, I don't know. I guess just like what I know about art so far. He's so obsessed with like looks and stuff. I wonder if he was like, I don't know, like kind of a dick to his sister pushing like unrealistic beauty standards on her all the time and stuff. And that was what drove her. I don't know, man, just a thought. Hypocrite. You really were threatening Eden to keep your secret, you hypocrite. Yeah, for real. Don't ever come near Eden or me or anyone else ever again, you sick bastard. What's that 
like that meme, like, don't come near me or my son ever again. <laughs> I kind of want to make a meme of her and Eden doing that now. That wasn't so hard. Now was it, Eden? <laughs> Look at him getting what he deserves. I'm really sorry for all the trouble I've caused, but <laughs> Arturo, I, I feel like I'm saying his name wrong. Arturo, 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 Arturo is terrifying when he wants to be. I was scared. Scared that even if I survived this trial, something would happen. Oh, Eden, we'll all keep you safe, I promise. Oh. Apologize. Threatening a girl like that. You really are the worst, Arturo. Mm -hmm. Then this note is about Arturo, right? Even so. Even though we have solved who the note is about, it still raises many questions. If I recall correctly, I like this song too. Eden and R.A. are not- we're not on good terms. Why would a killer forge a note from Eden of all people to lure R.A. out? Wouldn't R.A. have ignored it since she hates Eden so much? Not to mention, the note also talks of a promise R.A. made to Eden to become friends. That's quite strange! And for this note to successfully have convinced R.A. to come out alone, that information would have to actually be true. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for causing so much trouble, but... Now that I no longer need to keep it a secret, I guess I can explain everything about what happened between me, Ari, and Artuo. Ar 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 <laughs> I'm just gonna start saying Art. It happened the day Nico tried to kill Ace, the day that Ari and I had a falling out. Why am I putting up with you? I'm kind of starting to wonder if David wrote the note. Because I think him and, um... Whatchamacallit. Him and Ari did have a promise to be friends. That's the only person I could really see her meeting up with. I feel like he's kind of sus now. Because I was just thinking about that. Because I was like, yeah, she fucking hates Eden. I was like, who did she not hate? I was like, her and David were pretty close. So, mm. But I don't know. I still I kind of want the cursive to mean something. And it'd be Charles who wrote the note. Just because I felt so smart for noticing that. But I feel like it might be David actually now. Like, what do you want from me? I was in the middle of something with Julia. If you had to pull me away from that, then it better be very important. Um, Art, Art, I was given your motive secret. I'm just gonna give up on saying your name. Oh, Jesus, his freaking sprite. What? I received your secret, which is your younger sister, uh, um, unalived herself because of you. You should have never left. <laughs> oh yeah, I was like, you should have never left. So it seemed like. Like, when he went to school or something, she was just, like, so upset that she, like, did that. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> oh. Um, David suggested that we share everyone's secrets, so I wanted to know if you'd be okay if I shared this with everyone else. But it's also okay. She's so nice. I just want to pinch her little cheeks. It's also okay if you don't want to. He's still going to be a dick to her. Look at this respectful queen. Terrible. Having a family member commit suicide. I'm sure it's a painful topic for you, and there's no way that's my secret. Huh? Oh. Oh, God. It's gonna be like Charles' secret where he doesn't know that his sister's dead. Yikes! Oh, but it definitely has your name on it. Jesus Christ. That's totally it. No, that's not true. That's a lie. Oh, Jesus. There's no way it was my fault. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Okay, never mind. It's just um, it being his fault. Huh? All right, you're making a really scary face right now. How was it possibly my fault that I wanted to live my own life? Man, why are sisters so cursed in Danganronpa? Ah! Oh, shit! No. Stop! What are you doing? Oh, oh fuck. Please, let me go! <laughs> kind of makes more sense why she didn't, you know, really want to <laughs> share the secret now. I get you, girly. He is scary. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Down B. Dialga. He is our cute pirate. R2O. <laughs> I don't know why I cannot say his name right. I refuse to accept that secret of mine. It never happened. I wanted it buried in the past. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up something bad. If anyone else finds out about this, then I'll make you suffer. Understand? <laughs> Even, I dude. won't tell anyone. I promise. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. I didn't mean it. I'm kind of scared she's gonna have like a regression arc because like Eden's so sweet, but she keeps getting the shit stick, dude. She keeps getting like such bad, like so many bad things keep happening to her. Like first the men situation and now this. Leave her alone. Oh my God, queen. 
Oh! I said, leave her alone, Arturo. Oh, here we go. Cute. If you dare try and commit a murder in front of me, then I won't let you get away with it. Because I'll be a witness. I'll tell everyone. Oh, look at you. You, when did you get here? Did you hear me, dumbass? I said to put her down. Ah, uh, what is that? What? She kicked Arto in the back. She kicked Arto in the back of the knee, then he turned his head, causing him to fall down, fall and drop Eden. Okay, I guess she's not narrating this. I just read my own voice. Ah! And <laughs> gotcha, bitch! Oh my god, I can't stop. I can start shipping them together. Slay. How dare you? <laughs> Who do you think you are? You stupid idiot. Do you even understand what situation you're in right now? I overheard your little lame secret. It sounded pretty bad, honestly. You must be a real shitty person to have done that. You idiot. If I really felt like it, I could totally expose to everyone how much of a piece of garbage you are. Don't you dare if you do. And what, you're gonna oh, kick what? my ass? <laughs> Oh, are you threatening me? How scary. That's nothing. You're not so scary compared to some of my old classmates. I get threats all the time. She is such a girl boss. Go pop off, queen. You're gonna have to try harder if you want to intimidate me into silence. She doesn't, she doesn't put up with any shit. Pack it up, you second-rate back alley surgeon. You might be able to scare Eden, but I seriously couldn't give a damn about your lanky tall ass. Get him. <laughs> Roast him. Light up the fire, baby. Just keep your mouth shut. And <laughs> <laughs> toodles. Aww. Um, are you seriously still crying? He's gone now. Thank you. Um, for helping me. Aww. I. Uh, oh my god. Oh god. I'm gonna vomit. Uh, did, did I help you? Oh god. I did something nice. I didn't even realize it. I said bitch. I thought I was still being a bitch. Isn't that what she did? You didn't have to insert yourself into a dangerous situation like that, so thank you. Oh, this is cute. I'm probably gonna start chipping them. Um, um, I guess you can leave now. I feel like also their dynamic's kinda interesting with like, uh, you know, Eden being such a sweet person, and then like, uh, I guess like RA, she was like jealous of the fact that Eden didn't go through hardships, but she has been going through a lot of hardships right now, RA, so you shut your mouth. But I feel like they can maybe be good for each other, like the contrast, you know what I mean? Um, I guess you can leave now. That creep ass Arturo bothers you again. I'll fucking gut him. Arturo. Arturo. What the fuck have I been saying? Arturo. Huh? As you should, Queen. Are you protecting me? Why? I thought you hated me. I. I do hate you. No, you don't. But only because mm. I'm a little jealous of you. Because you're so kind and cute and shit. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yes! The GL! It's back! Yes! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, my GL heart. <laughs> I love it so much! Oh man, thank you, Misaki. This is why Eden and Ari are canon. Also, GL! GL! Woo! Yes! I love it! I love it! They're so cute! Not her, like, indirectly hitting. <laughs> indirectly hitting on her. She's, like, kind and cute and, like, huggable and shit. I honestly just wanted to be friends with someone genuinely nice like you. I know what you are, R.A. Friends. Ugh, don't give me that weenie look. I know I'm probably talking out of my ass here. But I can't stop thinking about the difference between you and me. Why you're so popular and loved. And I'm just some bitch that no one can stand. You're a badass bitch, R.A. Embrace it. It's probably because you do nice things for others. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Just a thought. <laughs> so, I guess... Aw, damn it. If I want to have lots of friends like you, I need to do nice things too. Damn it, she was about to change! I haven't really been nice to anyone in a really long time. So I'm not good at it. Being shitty is a lot easier. But I guess I can try. So that's what she meant when she said that she was trying to change. Um, say something, bitch. I just poured my fucking heart out to you. I just trauma dumped on you. So don't leave me. I know they put that there on purpose. <laughs> I won't forgive you for that in despair time. I will not forgive you for that. Okay, let's read some donations. 
<laughs> Thank you, indifference. Not Eden being so unproblematic. She becomes so problematic. Poor little baby. Tries so hard. I know. She's so sweet. I love her. And thank you, a big chunk of Mick Weeby, part two, electric boogaloo. Weeby, are 2 woo. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying that. And thank you, Demi, for becoming a member. Welcome to the Kenjo cult. Don't leave me hanging. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> Game mate. <laughs> Fucking game mate! <laughs> I'm glad you want to be my friend. That makes me really happy. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh, that's why I can't stand you because you are always so forgiving. Can't you at least speak your mind and tell me that I'm full of shit for cooking up a stupid scheme like this to get popular? <laughs> I love them. Um, I have no friends because I always say stuff like that, don't I? That look you're giving me. You don't believe me, do you? Figures. No, she does. I've been so shitty and manipulative this whole time. It's only fair that you think I'm only putting on another faked act to make people like me. Oh. So I'll prove it to you. I'm going to be your friend. And I'll do nice things for you. Anything at all. I hate Dog and Rampa so much. I fucking hate Dog and Rampa so much. It hurts. So much pain. So much pain. Uh -huh. Don't underestimate me. I can be a good person too. Being a good person means doing nice things. <sighs> so if there's anything you need from me, whether it's defending you from scary jerks like Arturo or baking some stupid fucking cake, I'll do it. I promise. Aww. They should have. <laughs> they should have been able to bake a cake together. I'm sick. I'm sick. Thank you, Peter M T C G. The scene made me love R A. Also, ship name for the two. Tobishi. To Tobishi. R A. I'm trying to think. I guess it's like with their last names. E Dinre. Or R Aren. <laughs> Aren. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. I'll do anything oh, for you. Oh God. Okay. I hate Danganronpa, dude. All this character development for what? For them to die a day <laughs> later. It's so painful. Because, because, because that's what friends do. Aww. Oh. I, I. Aw, oh, poor Eden. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Eden cannot catch a break, dude. After this adorable moment, then freaking Ari dies. <laughs> Aww. More than you know. Aww. Dude, nothing better happen to Eden. Just as I thought. You're pathetic and weak, and you always need to rely on others to get by. But I guess. Aww. I guess this time I can be the person you rely on. Oh, Arden, I can Ari see that. Was, Ari was trying to help Aww. me. She wanted to have friends and be happy. I know. And now she's dead. No wonder she was so when upset I saw by that this. Note, I realized that someone must have overheard our conversation. They knew how hard Aure was trying to be nice to me, and they used it to lure her out. If That's I was what I was thinking enough, too. If I didn't need Aure to help me. Oh my god, no! Is she gonna blame herself again? I cannot handle this. I cannot handle the emotions, dude. How many times is Eden gonna blame herself for murder? Man, none of this would have happened. Oh my god. I would have never died. Damn it. Ah, oh, she is gonna get some kind of like regression arc, I feel like. Cause like indirectly she caused Min's murder and now indirectly she caused Aray's murder. I hate this. Somebody, we gotta protect Eden, guys. I wanna make a protection squad. That's gonna be my new member tier. I'm just gonna get, abolish the Kinjo cult. We have the Eden protection squad now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can never get rid of the, the Kinjo cult. Thank you, Hoculus. Maybe they'll bake a cake in Mexico. Yeah, when Eden inevitably dies, probably. God, don't even, oh, I feel like it could happen though, probably. Oh God, she's too likable. She's probably gonna die. Thank you for the donation. Just like Min. Oh my God. Just like Min. It's all my fault. Oh God, I feel so bad for her. Oh Eden, it's not your fault at all. How terrible. It's like how many times can you hear that before you're just like, shut up. That's total BS. Shit. Damn, messed up. Are you really saying you simply took Ari's words at face value? She was a bitch after all. Come on. Oh. 
You uh, want to do that later? Now's kind of a bad time. Let's maybe let her cry, cry out. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I guess I didn't read the room there. <laughs> if Ian and Ra really had that conversation, then it explains a lot. Oh, my dear, Mr. Oh no, Twink, I missed your dono. Oh no. Thank you, Twink. I'm so sorry. Um, this is not the appointment I signed up for. <laughs> oh god. I'm so sorry, I missed your dono. My bad. I've just uh, been getting a lot. I've been trying to read them in bulk, so I guess I just kind of accidentally looked over it. I'm so sorry, though. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. I love your uh, profile picture, too, of Nico. They look so cute in there. And thank you, Alum Diamond. I think their ship name should be Time Bomb. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that lovely, uh, lovely donation. I'm gonna go cry in a corner now. I need a, I need a little break, guys. We go cry in the corner for a while. Thank you for the dono, though. And I'm so sorry again, Twink, about missing yours. I had my doubts. A clearly suspicious note asking her to meet up alone. And with no explanation as to why. During a killing game of all times. Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Holy shit, wait. Let me go back. Um, wait. Um, okay, let me, let me go. What was that spray, dude? That came out of nowhere. If he didn't, he's always had some weird ass sprites though, David, with the fucking, he's always had some really weird sprites. I mean, everybody kind of has creepy sprites, but I feel like David also has been kind of one of those. It's just like randomly bust out like the creepy ass sprites. If he didn't already really had that conversation, then it explains a lot. I had my doubts. A clearly suspicious note asking her to meet alone with no explanation as to why. During a killing game of all times. <laughs> what is up with this Kamina S sprite you got going on? What kind of person would fall for such an obvious trap? You'd have to be short sighted, naive, foolish, senseless. <laughs> okay, I've had my breakdown. I'm back to normal, guys. GG. I'm back to normal. I'm good. Just a little, just a little, just a little psychotic breakdown, but I'm good. I'm, I'm all good, guys. I think you wrote the note. Downright idiotic. I don't see fucking smiling about this shit. And he was, well, I guess now it does kind of like also make sense for Eden to write the note since they were like friends, but he's the only, the only other person that she like RA would be like friends with, you know what I mean? I don't know the fact that he's like, damn, I can't believe that stupid fucking note worked. Like, <laughs> That's kind of what's, what it's giving me. <laughs> Anybody can react to that? Unless, of course, you were R.A. That girl wanted desperately to prove herself as a friend to Eden, and yet she completely lacked any experience with what friends were actually like. Of course, it never occurred to her that handing out suspicious notes was not something that normal people did. Poor Rose. What could she know about friendship after all? Someone like her who had not once experienced kindness in her entire life up until now. But y'all had a moment. Even if she had her misgivings about something so suspicious, she must have pushed it aside due to her unwavering faith in her blossoming friendship. Ah, uh, that is sad that they took advantage of that. It's kind of fucked up. A friendship that she didn't understand in the slightest. It's, it's so... <laughs> it's just full... It's just silly, guys. Isn't it Silly for someone to take advantage of RA like that. What the fuck is going on with David right now? It's absolutely unforgivable. All she wanted was to change. Is he like having a breakdown? Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. I think he's having a breakdown because he's like so upset. Because like I said, David's been getting like the shit stick in this game too. Him and Eden both. I feel like he might be on his regression arc too because he had like... Xander died, and then he got close with R.A., and now she's dead, so he's just like, A FUCKING course, IT'S MY OTHER BEST FRIEND! <laughs> what a reprehensible person this killer is. I look forward to seeing their painful like Yeah, that's, that's what he's getting at for sure. I look forward to seeing their painful execution. Oh my god, the Kenjo core. <laughs> so then it really is my fault, isn't it? She died because she believed in me. No, Eden, stop it! Oh my god, these two characters, dude! We gotta help them, man. Sorry to cut sideways into an emotional moment, David, but I need to bring it back to the trial for a second. The truth is... Because the killer used this note to lure Ari out. The killer is either someone who overheard that conversation... Or the killer is art to... Art or Eden themselves. 
Arthur, are you seriously are the worst? You piece of shit. <laughs> you piece of shit. I love that delivery. You would have known all of this, so you could have made the note and lured Ari out as revenge for getting in your way, and then you killed her. Absolutely not. I did not. Again with these Brilliant. accusations. Accusations? So far, everything that's been leveled against you has been true. All the evidence is practically screaming that you're the killer. You have a clear motive, and that note to lure out R.A. is the smoking gun. I don't know who did it, honestly. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. I was kind of suspecting David, but I feel like he's going... I feel like he's more in the Kinjo core thing. <laughs> After some of those lines. I feel like Art is the most suspicious, but at the same time, I kind of feel like he might still be, like, too suspicious. Like, it might be, like, too obvious. You know what I mean? I'm not really sure who else it would be. Please don't kill me. If you really killed Ari over that, Art, then... That's not... I did not. Everyone is unreasonably painting me as the... As, why would they? I'm the nicest person ever. You are a villain. Whatever you did to your sister, you probably did to RA too. What do you know? Shut your goddamn mouth. You know nothing about my family. That friendship's over, isn't it? Oh, you're, uh, you're so fascinating. Oh, you're really entertaining. So I'll take your side. <laughs> I'm not fucking Veronica. <laughs> I don't care about the mortals. I don't care about people, whether people get hurt or whether they die. I just need to be entertained. <laughs> If you become more and more irredeemable, <laughs> then I'll only love you more. Why is Veronica me? Why is she literally me? <laughs> She's literally like my chaotic side when I'm watching uh, Killing Games. I'm like, yes, keep going on about how you want to watch that painful execution, David. I stand. I want to hear all those terrible things you did with no justification. Why me? Am I, and I, am I a Veronica Kenny at this point? I can't even tell. For someone who's taking my side, you sure are making me look a lot worse. <laughs> it's like me defending Kenjo. <laughs> she is making you look pretty bad, bro. You should invest in some better PR, maybe. <laughs> Ugh, why is this happening to me? I did not kill Are. She annoyed me and threatened me, true, but I did not, I did not hit her, I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, I'll be serious. <laughs> I just feel like I have to make that reference. And thank you, Kyrie. Uh, Veronica, Queen, Slay. <laughs> oh my god. Down bad, Kyrie, but I do get it. And thank you, Cater. Me and Veronica is just as silly, a bit goofy. I love Veronica too. I can relate to her. And do we need to do it into members only mode? I see some of the mods saying it's getting a little a little crazy. Just let me know or let Q say no. Or um, I think maybe Bree or Jeff, like I said, can do it. Hey. Little Jay, are we so quick to jump to conclusions? Enough, give Arto a chance to defend my- Give Arto- Arto- God damn. Give Art a chance to defend himself! You want to defend a murderer like him? Why? Are you stupid? Why? Why do I want to discuss things carefully in a trial and not jump to conclusions? Because we have fucking time if we don't! <laughs> you are so infuriatingly stupid that I am not even going to explain why! Calm down. Charles has a point, as much as I'm tempted to let my emotions get in the way. I suppose we should listen to Art's account. What he couldn't have, have doing it, he's a little Artuo. Well. But fair warning, Art, I already have quite a low opinion of you on account of everything I've learned about you just now. I'm not the killer because! Just because, okay? <laughs> Give me a moment to think of a defense, okay? <laughs> you have an alibi, don't you? Uh oh. <laughs> That's right. Ruka has established that the murder must have happened before nighttime. And if this note was used to lure out Are to her murder, then the murder could only have happened at 7 30 p.m. or later. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, were they hanging out? Damn it. <laughs> Thank you, Demi. I've been watching since V3. Oh, wow. You've been, you've been here for a while. Just haven't participated. You're part of my inspo to start content creation. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Thank you for being great. Also, Stan David. Oh my god, same. <laughs> I'm like starting to stan him, honestly. But thank you so much. I appreciate that. I uh, Good luck with starting content creation, too. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you, Twink. Uh, Arturo. Arturo. <laughs> 
artichoke. Yeah, it's about it's about what happens, honestly. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just cannot say his name right. Every time I see it, I'm just like, Artubo. <laughs> he would agree with that, though, because he's trying to look innocent right now. And if this note was used to lure out all right or murder, then the murder could only have happened at 7 p.m. or later. Okay, so yeah, they were together, probably. Um, Shit. damn it. If the murder happened during that time period, then Art's got an alibi. He kept following me around yesterday as usual. We were together the entire time. Okay, so it could have been Jay. Could have been Eden. Could have been who, I don't think, right? I think they had alibis too, kind of. And then it can't be Artuo. <laughs> Artuo right now either. So it feels like four people with alibis, kind of. I'm not convinced. The entire time, are you sure? There may be gaps in which, yeah, like, Min had, like, an alibi last trial, too, so I guess there's that. Y'all been saying bye in the chat for, like, the last five minutes. I don't know if it's going to <laughs> members mode yet. It's, like, literally, everybody's been like, bye, goodbye, farewell, farewell, chat. It's, it's so hard. Uh, I'll see you again, maybe on the other side, maybe someday, someday. It's like y'all been saying bye for an hour. Or not an hour, but for at least like five minutes, it feels like. I don't know if y'all are going to members mode yet. <laughs> I think that might be the next episode. Thank you, uh, Finastro. Weepy's basically both of Veronica and uh, R2, whoa, Kenny. Standing psychotic, irredeemable characters and the pretty privilege. Oh, it did go to members only. Okay, you guys weren't being dramatic. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making fun of you guys for being dramatic. <laughs> oh, God, I kind of am. Oh god, I kind of am R2O. I do do the pretty privilege a lot, damn. That is totally, that is so me. Thank you, Finastro, for the donation, though. Appreciate you. I want to allow everyone their comments. Uh, okay, that makes sense. I just saw it for, like, so long. I was like, are y'all, are y'all leaving? I, was, like, I can't tell. I was like, I just kind of wonder if people are being dramatic. But sorry. <laughs> sorry for making fun of y'all. You weren't being dramatic. The entire time, you sure? There may be gaps in which Art could have theoretically snuck away to commit the murder. Don't forget that men technically had an alibi as well. Do you two really have a complete solid alibi from 7.30 p.m. to 10 p.m.? Between that time span, yeah, Arto is at my side, unfortunately. Exactly, I cannot be the killer as I have an airtight alibi now. He's gonna hate her after this. Shut up. Don't look so pleased with yourself. Even if you didn't kill Ari, you still did a lot of messed up stuff. Let's move on. <laughs> we can get rid of Let's stop this. Since we're on the topic of alibis, I think now would be a good time to discuss them in more detail. As we now have now narrowed down the murder to take place between 7.30 to 10 p.m. Eden and I have a continuous alibi from 7 to 10. It has become a bit of a tradition for the two of us to clean up after dinner together. Okay, so yeah, they do still have an alibi. And after we were done, we talked for quite some time brainstorming ways to deal with the motive. <sighs> Although I suppose we weren't able to find a solution in time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm for Eden! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't look at her. If both Eden and Art have solid alibis, then the killer must have been someone who overheard their conversation. Yeah. Art Eden, do you know if anyone was listening in? I don't. <laughs> A lot was going on. I wouldn't have noticed. I'm sorry. Poor Eden, Just my dude. Luck. Figures. Let's keep pursuing everyone's alibis. I was with Wit. Of course you were. Of course you were. I was with Wit the entire time. I can't confirm. Doing what exactly? The unimportant. <laughs> unimportant. What's your alibi? I was with Teruko. We were watching some movies together. Sorry. Okay, so we were together during that time. I kind of forgot about that. So that was when... Dang, I feel like everybody's got an alibi. I don't know if Nico has an alibi, though, but I don't think Nico would have done this since they, you know, tried to murder, like, a day ago. You know what I mean? I was, uh... I don't remember, so that means I was probably asleep in my room alone? Probably? Maybe? Oh. I trust Rose with my life. Right. Terrific, you don't have an alibi! <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> well... I also, unfortunately, was not with anyone else at the time. If it helps, I did my laundry during that time. I feel like, I don't know, I'm kind of suspicious of Levi, too, for whatever reason. Nico, do you have an alibi? Uh, um, um, I, I was wandering around. Crap. What the hell? Why are you always wandering around? <laughs> Nico can't say anything without Ace fucking stepping in. Be like, fuck you, you murdering piece of shit. 
<laughs> what the hell? Why are you always wandering around alone? Do you have any damn clue how suspicious that makes you? I feel like we're gonna be like in a free time event with Nico, and they're gonna be like trauma dumping and be like, and then my mother said never said she loved me. Oi! The fucking ace is just gonna burst in the room. Oi, mate, I bet she never fucking loved you, you murdering piece of shit. <laughs> every time every time Nico talks, dude, I swear. Oh my god, what the hell? Why are you always wandering around alone? Do you have any damn clue how suspicious that makes you? <laughs> Oh my god. Mm. At this again. You piss me off. This is just gonna this is just gonna make them wanna kill you more, Ace. Always doing this. <laughs> like let them speak. You know what? You're the most suspicious out of everyone here. You have absolutely no one to back you up during the time of the murder. You can't even explain what you were doing. <laughs> and you're already a goddamn murderer to begin with. I'm convinced you killed already. And then please stop accusing me. I bet you wish I was the, oh, the one that died instead of all right, right? Well, I mean, obviously they tried to murder your ass. Too bad, so sad, I'm still here. I'm still here and as annoying as ever, baby. I'm still here and I'm gonna call you out for your shittiness. I don't care if you stop are stuck that. in a free time event. Enough, what exactly is your alibi then if you're so quick to accuse? Ugh. Oi, I was working out in the fitness room. So no alibi. On the second floor, let me guess, you were alone. Would you really want to go back there Whatever. after you almost died there? <laughs> Whatever. Then you're even more suspicious. Pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> I got a little worked up. My, my. Even Auntie Who can get a petty every now and then. <laughs> oh, no. But if Ace was on the second floor at the time the murder occurred, then he is sort of suspicious. Yeah, isn't that? It's pretty close to the... Like playground or whatever, right? David, weren't you on the second floor too? Uh, um, I'm sorry, Whip, but I'm feeling awfully tired today. I'm not really in the mood to socialize. I should probably rest. Okay. In that case. Hey, if you need a rest, why don't you chill in the relaxation room for a bit? Might help ya. Oh yeah. Thank oh, you. Oh, that is sus. You're the one who killed the fish, David. I'll try that. Thanks for your suggestion. Oh yeah, an RA too. It's like, you the one who killed the fish. And maybe RA. Wood made the recommendation that you spend time in the relaxation room last night. You did go there, didn't you? That is so fucking suspicious, dude. Because literally, yeah, the culprit, you know, allegedly went there to get the fish in the water. Interesting. Did I really? You definitely did go downstairs at some point because I saw you go in the elevator. That's... Ah, uh, I, I suppose I did! Why are you acting so confused? In that case, the two people who were closest to the location of the murder during the time the murder occurred were Ace and David. Not necessarily. Just because someone says that they were sleeping or doing laundry doesn't mean that they were actually doing those things. It'd be foolish to take everyone's accounts at face value. Yeah, In true. In that case... In that case, a ton of people have, been miss have missing alibis. Is there even a way to figure out who could have set sent the note to RA? Even so. We can still question people who we know for sure were down there. Ace, David, answer me. Now my best boys. Even if you two weren't the killer, shouldn't you have noticed something out of the ordinary? Did you not even see that a murder was happening mere rooms over? How stupid are you? No, didn't see nothing suspicious. I didn't either. Although I'll admit that I never looked in the playground. Fucking sus. Even then, to have not noticed anything at all. How long was he in the relaxation room for? I feel like that's a pretty important detail. It's technically, it's technically plausible. We currently don't know the me mechanism of the murder. Don't jump to conclusions. However, I never saw Ace once, which seems strange in hindsight. Oh, heaping the blame on me now, just because I'm the worst boy. Ace, you shouldn't. <laughs> I thought for a second it kind of looked like he had eye bags. Like, David, is <laughs> he's so tired, dude. Ace, you shouldn't take everything as a personal attack against you. I'm simply speaking the truth. Ha! Speaking the truth, don't make me laugh. All right, you two talking reminded me of something. David said his secret was, what was it again? Something about being depressed? I can't quite remember. Been wondering that. Family history of depression. All oh, right, of course. I forgot. It's not on the board at all. 
Kind of took y'all a while to notice that. That doesn't make sense. Wait, isn't that weird? Why isn't your secret on there at all? All right, like I said to Taruko, I was probably mistaken about what secret of mine would be the motive. Oopsie, not gonna tell y'all. <laughs> you piss me off. If you're trying so hard to make yourself look good, asshole, then why not reveal your secret again? Come clean about it like you did last time. I don't feel like it anymore. Is that really necessary now? No, you're being weird. You were so bent on being open with everyone's secrets, and now you won't reveal yours again. Why is there so much bread in the chat right now? <laughs> I keep looking over and seeing bread. It's so whatever, guys, as long as, as long as you're having fun. <laughs> as long as you guys are having fun in the chat. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I probably should read some uh, donations, too. Let's see. Thank you, Kanban. I don't know if I'm defending him or not, but maybe there's a possibility. Art's sister was too demanding of him, and he needed to leave. Just a theory. I could see that being the cake. That's definitely... Cake. <laughs> what the fuck am I? I cannot speak. It's just all the bread in chat. It's making me think of cake. Um, but I can see that being the case. Um, it's definitely a more charitable theory for him. He does kind of seem like a douche, though, so it's hard to know. Thank you, Sheer Forest, for joining the Kendo Cult. And thank you, Gabe. Completely unrelated, completely unrelated to what's happening, but daily reminder. <laughs> well, Nico is technically non-binary, but Nico is the best, uh, the best, uh, they, them, for sure. Thank you for the donation. Thank you, Sierra. For the donation and thank you starring cat for becoming a member appreciate ya now you're being weird you were so bent on being open with everyone's secrets and now you won't reveal yours again that's suspicious behavior please don't accuse me of being suspicious without solid evidence yeah, you want solid evidence all right you oh. asked uh oh everyone open your fucking ears spill. and listen to me spill ace i know what david's yes. secret is say it no damn it this is why, okay, this is literally why I wanted to read the donation before we got to the end of the video because I knew it was going to be a cliffhanger. You, I'm so ready. I'm so fucking ready. Spill, Ace. Spill the tea. Okay, I got to like the video for uh, Taruko. Oh, wait. Is it going to load? Boop, boop, boop. Wait a second. Um, huh. It's because it's age restricted? Okay. Okay, there we go. I guess, uh, just being weird. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you for refreshing again. What the? <laughs> okay, just, no, yeah, let's, let's, let's switch the Ace Attorney video. But also, shout out to Nazumi VA. I feel like sometimes, I like Opera GX, but sometimes it can be a little weird. I think it's the VPN mostly. I understand. I wish to proceed. Keep me on the page. Keep me. Keep me here. I want to stay here. I want to stay here. Let's stay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> good. There we go. Thank you, Johnny James, for becoming a part of the Kenjo cult. Hope you enjoy the emotes. And let's see. I kind of wonder. It'd be kind of interesting if you had the murderer one, but we'll see. And for a second, I thought the Ace Attorney video was the next episode of this one. I was like, why did they put Ace Attorney at the beginning? I was like, oh, it's Nazumi <laughs> Attorney video. <laughs> Her videos are really good, though. I know what David's secret is. Um. I'm sorry. <laughs> excuse me. Oh, I thought you had received Nico's secret. Yeah. Yeah, I did, but last night I overheard David and Ray meeting up to talk about the motive secrets. Cause they're besties. Are you an idiot? Wait, wait, that is incredibly important information. Why on earth would you not bring this up earlier? Did you have brain damage? David, David met up with the murderer victim during the time her murder would have taken place. This is not some small piece of evidence you can forget about. You absolutely should have brought this up earlier. Yeah, for real. I was too busy roasting Nico. That was way more important. Shut up. <laughs> you piss me off. You know what? I'm gonna change my fuck guy. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm not gonna tell you the super secret important piece of information. Fuck you. If you want to hear my full testimony, then get on your knees and fucking beg for it, you pathetic sex of shit. Oh, Ace, I love and hate you so much. <laughs> oh, thank you, Gabe, for the donation. Appreciate ya. I'm giving you valuable information that could change this trial, so act like you're grateful because you owe me your goddamn life. <laughs> oh my god, I hate him so much. 
I hate him so much. I hate and love him so much. I hate him, but I, I hate him because he's so annoying, but I love him because he's so entertaining. <laughs> if I want to keep things to myself, then I will. After all, David is doing the exact same thing. Why don't you go beat up on him instead? Why do I have to be punished for the fact that David's a lying asswipe? <laughs> oh my god. A what? I'm a what now? Besides, I figured it would only distract you lot since I'm pretty sure I know who the murderer is. It's not David. <laughs> Bro, we know. <laughs> you said it. You said it so many times. I don't know if y'all heard me the first 5,000 fucking times, but I think the murderer is Nico. Oh god, thank you Alex. I'm so glad I finally got to see a stream live. I loved your DRA playthrough. Now I'm really enjoying DRDT so far. So far my favorites are Ace and Charles. Oh, that's kind of funny because I think you have an Ace Attorney character in your profile picture. And your favorite's Ace. <laughs> Fitting. I love everybody. They're all so good. Thank you for the donation. Appreciate ya. Cut that out. Out of all possible reasons to not show your testimony, that one might be the most idiotic. <laughs> You're all being real rude to someone you're asking a favor from. You know what? Maybe I will keep it to myself. You fucking ingrates don't deserve this. He's so Shut petty. Shut your mouth. Oh, ro uh, ro ro <laughs> Levi's gonna fuck him up again. Stop messing around right now. Ha. Gonna resort to force. Fine. Oh, he did kind of switch targets because he was bitching about Levi. Like... Also, like constantly up until Nico, and then Nico trying to kill him, and now Nico is enemy number one. I was gonna tell you anyway, I just wanted the satisfaction of pissing you off first. <laughs> oh, Ace. Oh, great. Another asshole coming down here. Just when I thought I'd get some quiet. Oh, God. Let's see here. David. I finally found you. Ah, Ari. Good evening. Did you need to talk to me? It's about those motive secrets. I see. I know that it may have been hard for you to confess yours, but... Why did you lie about your secrets? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ace is like, mm. <laughs> I love that. He was like looking the other way. He was like, mm. <laughs> So me. <laughs> the side eye. Oh. oh, I hear some tea going on over here, huh? Cause that made me curious, so I decided I was gonna listen in. I can't remember which one RA got though. I'm sorry? I don't know if I should look it up yet. I guess uh, they'll probably say it, so I think it's fine. Sorry, I don't quite understand. You said your secret was that you had a family history of depression. It is, I didn't lie, that's the truth. I'm. Um, your secret is you exist to manip- Oh. Oh. Oh, it's that one. I guess that kind of makes sense for him. He's like a TED talker or whatever, so I guess he could like, I don't know, it's like the toxic positivity thing. Oh my god, dude, are you like a Ty Lopez? <laughs> Buy my thousand dollar course! <laughs> no, it's totally not a ripoff. I'm, it's totally not just teaching you how to drop ship. Your secret is you exist to manipulate others. Everyone else exists to be taken advantage of, isn't it? Okay, I really thought it was that other secret. That's... Oh. I presume you're the one who was given my secret. And no, I'm not. And before you ask, it's none of your fucking business whose secret I did get. Okay, so wait. It wasn't... Wait. That's... Presume you're the one who was given my secret. Wait, was it not her that was given the secret? What the fuck? Who's, who was given that secret then? <laughs> okay, wait a second. Okay, you only, da da, your quiet body falling apart, murder, always threaten, your younger sister. Oh, Wit got that one? You exist to manipulate others. Everyone else exists to be taken advantage of. Okay, so Wit got that one. Why was Wit <laughs> blabbing on, telling RA about it? Oh, thank you, Emil, this is one of the best scenes. He really slayed it, I'm excited. And thank you for the donation, appreciate ya. This is a secret I did get. So what? When Mono TV was handing out the motives, I decided to sneak a peek at the person next to me as well, which was Wit. Ah, oh, okay. Thankfully, he's too airheaded to notice me snooping. I guess that makes sense too. That's how I saw your secret. 
At the time, I figured it was cool. Nothing more than a little more blackmail material to line my pockets. But then, that's kind of fucked up if he was lying about having depression. I guess if, it is, if that is his secret, though, it kind of makes sense he would lie about that. And that said, everyone else should confess their secrets, too. <laughs> hey, what's up? going on? You said- <laughs> what's going on there, buddy? You said that sharing our secrets would help fight against the motive. But when you think about it, not a single good thing has come out of that. You're just fucking around with us. <laughs> huh. Junko Kenny. Ina was stupidly naive as usual and tried to talk to Art, so now I have to protect her. Nico got super pissy and tried to turn Ace into cat food. Everyone has been fighting non-stop with each other because of your so-called plan to fight against the motive. Mm. Are you really just trying to manipulate everyone? She's got a point. If the only thing you did was lie, then I wouldn't have given a shit. But what's worst of all? Worst of all? You told me that I could change. Okay. They did have that emotional scene together. I guess she would pretty ups be pretty upset if, like, uh, you know... To learn that he was just like manipulating her. I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. That's what Eden would do. And I want to be like her. I need... God dang it. David, did you do this? Did you kill her? I need to become a good person. It's really seeming like it was him that did it. Maybe I misinterpreted the situation. Maybe I'm just reading your actions in bad faith. Is that it, David? David, say something! That's all I heard. I didn't catch nothing else. But yeah, David's secret is that he's taking advantage of everyone here. The fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, Ace. Never change. Um. No. What? No. I would never. Do you really believe that? I have no recollection of it. Even the fucking gaslight. have no recollection of even seeing Ra last night. Much less speaking with her. That is so true. Just a load of crap. Okay, I'll totally believe that because there's no way you'd lie, right, fucking idiot? <laughs> I mean, I guess, like, you know, in terms of people you could, like, you know, gaslight or, like, lie over. Ace is a pretty good choice. Like, basically, nobody wants to believe Ace on anything. I don't mean to start an argument, but you could just as easily have lied as well. In Ace's defense, though, it is rather strange that David claims his secret was didn't show up on the board. Claims his secret didn't show up on the board at all. Yeah, for real. Fucking lying at. <laughs> one could say that it was simply an innocent mistake on his part, that he was just incorrect about which one of his secrets would be the motive, but it's very possible that he intentionally lied as well. Yeah, I think, God, I think he was trying to manipulate us. Be like, I have depression, guys. It's so sad. Be nice to me. That's so fucked up to do. As somebody who actually does have depression, that's super fucked up to lie about. But given, a, given his actual secret, I'm starting to think that is the case. Because I was, like, kind of wondering if maybe he could be lying. But I was like, who would lie about that? That's so fucked up. But I don't know. I don't find that cause for suspicion. Are you simply overthinking the motive? Besides, Ace is not the most reliable source. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. Oh, oopsie. Alarm. It's always suspicious. It's awfully suspicious that Ace waited this long to bring up such an important piece of evidence. <laughs> Plus, the dude's like a bull in a china shop. And that makes no sense. This whole story hinges on the premise that Ace is discreet enough to eavesdrop. Oh my god, it's working! Oh no, it's working! Without having some sort of spontaneous anger-fueled screaming fit and getting caught. Okay, that, she does- she is spitting fats though. Spitting fats? <laughs> spitting what now, Weeby? Facts! Thank you, Gabe, for the donation. But yeah, please guys, remember not to hint um, to future events. You bitch! That's the part you have issue with? You seriously think I'm incapable of being quiet? I mean, she does kind of have a point. I didn't make it up. Damn it, that really happened. David is lying to you all. <laughs> Ace, this is an absurd story to conjure up in your own defense. Oh my god. Gaslight gatekeep guy boss. Wood, can you please just confirm whose secret you were given? 
After all, you're the one who received the secret in question. Yeah, for real. Wit, come on. Good idea. How about? Nope. <laughs> okay, fine. I had an idea. Of course. I, I thought. <laughs> no, but typical. But David is really suspicious. He's always been really pushy on getting people to reveal their secrets. I think. And he can do that only because he revealed his own secret first. That way he doesn't look like a hypocrite. But if he lied about his secret, then he can just pretend that he's in the right. And then other people will follow his lead because it's good to share secrets. I swear to God, if he lied about that. And um, I'm not saying this because I'm mad at David. <laughs> really? It's okay, Nico. Nico, honey, you seem to be a little confused. David wasn't lying about anything. He was simply trying to take a little... <laughs> Y'all... <laughs> not the David cult. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He was just simply trying to help us. That's why somebody died. No, that's a good point. Why was David so insistent that we all exchange our motives? I said it before. It was to fight against Mono TV's motive. Why are you why are you doing my sprite? Taruko does, does that sprite too, the like pointing sprite. He's got Nahoge too. She does it with the opposite arm though. Huh, interesting. The motive is only effective if we're driven to keep our secrets hidden, but if we shared our secrets, then the motive would lose its power over us, and there'd be no reason to murder. What's your problem? If that's your reasoning, then why don't you tell us what your secret really is? In this argument right th right in this argument right here. <laughs> why don't you? You first! <laughs> You! No, you! No, you! You first! After all, you made such a big show of setting an example for everyone else to follow! There's a no need to be so petty. Of course he won't confess his secret, cause I'm right, aren't I? I don't... Did, Dave, did David's plan really help fight against the motive? No, not fucking at all. Oh! Uh. Has nobody noticed his evil ass sprites that he did? Like, nobody had a reaction when he did that, like, <laughs> sprite earlier in, like, the last episode. What do you mean? No harm came out of you sharing your secrets, right? I'm just a little ooh woo. By my I course. Mean, I guess it's true that things worked out for me. Nothing bad happened between me, Taruko, or Wit. But all you need is one bad apple to rot the entire barrel. It's true. Damn, now that I think about it, a lot of bad stuff happened because of sharing secrets. Yeah. I feel like... I feel like I... I don't know, man. Yeah. Damn. Eden trying to share a motive with Art made him threaten her life. Yeah, for real. Nico made a serious attempt of murder to murder Ace over their secret. In addition, Ari sharing her own secret to David caused her to have a breakdown. Although I suppose no one else was privy to that. It's kind of weird, because like... I don't know, David was giving me like such Kenjo vibes with like the I can't wait to watch the culprit get executed and shit. He said it so like genuinely that I was like, there's no way he could be the culprit. Now I feel like based off all of this talk, it almost sounds like he's just fucking around trying to get us to like, uh, I don't know, murder each other for like entertainment's sake, you know, kind of like Veronica, like he just wants to put on a show. But like that doesn't seem consistent, I feel like, with what he was saying earlier. So I'm trying to figure out like what his personality really is like I can't really I can't really tell like I don't know maybe he like is unaware that he's manipulative I don't really know huh it seems that if anything it seemed as if disclosing the motives caused more harm than good of course not. That doesn't mean David is at fault. <laughs> Forgot who? Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Get some help. The Tim's at fault. He can control the. He can't control the actions of others. So how can you blame him for those squabbles? Um, I only talked to Art because I believe David. I wouldn't have done it otherwise if David didn't tell me to. That's. Oh. Oh I'm no. Sorry. I was wrong. I. I think. I thought it was about to explode. Oh wow! Big mm. surprise. I admit, I thought that sharing our secrets would be a good idea. And things didn't turn out as peacefully as I had hoped. Then David admits to making a mis- Then David admits to making a mistake, so stop attacking him! I feel like that's like a manipulation tactic too, when you like, have done a bunch of bad stuff, but you take mistake for like, you take- You take accountability for like, the least- the least bad like infraction then people will be like well you know he took accountability for like you know the part that wasn't really that bad 
So therefore he can be lying about all the other bad shit he did. It's not just a mistake when someone died. I don't know if there's like a word for that, but I'm pretty sure I've heard of that being like a tactic before. And it's not just a mistake when David's secret suggests that he intentionally did it to manipulate others. Yeah, for real. Thank you, Charles. You still don't know for sure what David's secret is. Need I remind you that the only real proof you have is Ace's so-called testimony. Are you really saying to trust Ace's words over all else? I guess who does hate Ace a lot? All you're doing is speculating about David's feelings, which you can't prove with evidence. It's speculation to you, you're maybe. Wrong. But there's one more thing that I know, one particular reason that I've never once believed in David's lies to fight against the motive. David's entire personality is fake. Eh? Um. I knew from our first meeting. Oh, interesting. His optimism, his charisma, everything about him, it's all a facade. He's just pretending to be a good person, you've, and you've completely fallen for it. Girl, you don't want to fill me in on that? I'm starting to wonder, is it like, he can't, I don't know, like, he seems so, I don't know, I'm like, uh, I can't, I don't can't tell. Don't dare! How dare you say that about David? You're making things up now to slander him! Shit. David, tell her how wrong she is! David, <laughs> bestie, you want to say something? My my. Oh, it looks like he's run out of defenses. Again, Wood, why can't you just confirm or deny whose secret you have? We wouldn't be having this argument if you weren't staying quiet. Yeah, for real, Wit. What are you doing right now? Uh, do you like drama too? I just like mess. That's. How dare you? That's enough. Oh, poor who. She's losing it too. The reason Wood hasn't been saying anything this whole time is because he knows that you're all mistaken. He can just confirm that, bro. David is a considerate person who works hard for everyone's sake. What do the rest of you know? David and I are good friends. I can speak on his behalf and I can tell you confidently that there's absolutely no way that... Ace is telling the truth. Oh, wait. Oh, how do you know? Huh? What makes you say that? <sighs> Sorry to blow your cover, Wit, but I can tell that you're hiding David's secret. I know you well enough to know when you're trying to protect someone. It's because we're we're besties and maybe boyfriends. Mm. Oh, frig. <laughs> now my fault I'm a terrible Why were you doing that? Why are you being so sussy, Wit? Now my fault I'm a terrible liar. Don't say I didn't at least try to save your butt, David. Yay! That's good enough of a confession for me. Bonus points for saying, but... Okay. Interesting. Why is Wit covering up for David? I just don't know. I might cover up the chat just because uh, I feel like I keep seeing like people being like, Weeby, don't look. <laughs> don't look, Weeby. I'm like trying not to look, but it's kind of a habit, so I'm just going to block it. Wait, it's actually true. That's your secret, David. What? There's, There's no way. Man, she's really upset. The motive secrets have a tendency to be phrased dramatically. <laughs> they're just they're exaggerating, okay? Surely this is just an unflattering framing, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Told you so. Eat shit, everybody who doubted me. <laughs> He's so real. I love Ace. So real for that one. David. Don't clam up at a time like this. Say something. Oh my god. Oh my god, here it goes. The breakdown. Uh, sorry. Oh. I... Or not. <laughs> got a little distracted. That's all. <sighs> I was just thinking about the last trial. How Min was accused of murder by everyone. And even when she realized that her case was finished, she kept fighting. She kept arguing and yelling and crying. She was innocent. Even when no one believed in her. Even when it made her guiltier. At that time, watching Min, I kept thinking. What's going on? How utterly pathetic <laughs> she was. <laughs> she should have realized that she was wasting her energy with that sad performance. The only thing she accomplished was gathering pity. It worked on me. <laughs> it worked on me. Okay, so he is just an evil little bastard. Back then, I thought to myself, if I was ever in the same situation, 
then I would know when to stop fighting. That way, I can keep my pride. Does that mean he's, like, definitely the killer? With that in mind, I guess I should stick to my words and give up. Oh, shit. Not to mention, I kind of don't want to give the satisfaction of ruining my life to anyone else. You David? admit it? Okay. So then... I'm guilty as charged. Are you serious? What the fuck? Is he A actually lying, saying it? Manipulative, oh. scumbaggy piece of shit. <laughs> Is that what you all wanted to hear? Oh my god, he undid his tie. Hey, they got they updated his little picture too. Okay, he's just admitting to being a piece of shit then. Oh my god, look at the show by core outfit that you got on now. <laughs> David! Whoa. Is it just me? Or did he totally change his demeanor? David, calm down! Hold on. What the fuck is this, like, show by core shit he's doing? I'm not finished talking. <laughs> Didn't your parents teach you any manners? Or are you all too fucking stupid Slay. to know how rude it is to interrupt someone's speech? Oh my god, I love it. You were right. I'm a good for nothing liar. But I call those lies motivational speeches. And everyone eats it up. I kind of, I don't know, man. I kind of had a feeling from the beginning when he was introduced. Like, even the first chapter, I was like, I don't know, man. I feel like that talent's kind of suspicious. <laughs> like, I don't know. When I think of TED Talks, I think of people trying to sell you shit. People can always change. <laughs> what complete bullshit. No one ever changes. People who are born lazy, useless, and stupid will stay that way until they die. If you were able to improve yourself into a better person, then it only means you were a better person to begin with. And with that, my career is officially in the trash. Not that it matters oh. anyway, since none of us are going to escape this killing game alive. Damn, he's such a pessimist, too. Oh, it feels so good to say all of that. All that stuff I wanted to say, but had to keep to myself and act all well-mannered instead. Oh, you all should try it. <laughs> I understand now why you're such an unlikable, irredeemable asshole. <laughs> it's really cathartic. <laughs> Fucking get him! Fucking get him, Rose! Him. God, it feels good to be an asshole, just like you, Ace. Fucking roasted. Damn, I was expecting a lot of different things, but you're insane. You know what? Maybe you actually did kill all Ray. I don't know. I thought he was admitting it for a second. Like, he is. God, he's definitely the most likely now, but like, at the same time, I want him to stick around. I, I want him to stick around, honestly. So I'm like, <laughs> please don't. Please don't let him. I don't want him to get up. I don't want him to be the culprit. I don't, I don't feel like he. I, could, I don't feel like he is, but I don't know if that's just me being hopeful or not, honestly. But also, I feel like it might be. It's, it's too obvious. Is that a good excuse? <laughs> is that a good excuse to defend him? Much fun. Oh god, she's she's in love. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. You had so much stuff pent up inside you. Oh my god. I'm in love. Step aside, Veronica. He's mine. That's whack. <laughs> whack, dude. I was keeping that secret out of concern for your career, but if this is how you really act, then your career might be in trouble for reasons out of my control. Okay, so that was it. Uh, he was probably just scamming people anyways. I think it's fine to I think it's fine to ruin his career. As I expected. In that case, David, is what Ace said true? Hmm? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps not. Normally, I would continue to insist that Ace is a well unreliable witness and a worthy lying piece of shit as well. But I know how it is with you people. Once you've reached a conclusion, you'll refuse to believe any evidence that contradicts it. So I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> He doesn't give a shit anymore. But I will admit, I did indeed meet with R.A. last night in the relaxation room. And for what I actually talked to her about, good day. Well, I'll, I've already forgotten. She's dead now anyway, so who gives a fuck? I mean, why memorize the trash in the garbage bin if it's gonna be burnt? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Poor Ari, dude. She probably, well, I guess she knew he was a piece of shit afterwards, but for like half a second, she probably thought you were her friend. Um. Maybe. Um, I didn't actually memorize. <laughs> is, is he talking about me, guys? I didn't actually memorize what was in the garbage. Fuck. 
You killed her, you totally killed her, damn it! You talked to her around the time she was killed, and you were right next to the playground where we found her body. That's what I'm saying. But at the same time, but at the same time, I'm delusional. <laughs> I'm like, no, he couldn't have done it because reasons. Had to be oh, R2O. Right. Let's go back to let's go back to accusing him, guys. <laughs> Alright, I forgot that we were still accusing me of murder. I did get a little carried away after all. Oh, his uh Hoge fell down too. Interesting. Do you have a defense then, David? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> what a great- Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> All of you. What a beautiful defense. I, for one, I, for one, believe him. I, for one, believe and trust him so much. I guess I can start looking at some of these donations. I think I got a lot during that scene. Let's see. Uh, pack it up, Deluhu. Yeah, she's not. She's not gonna be super happy right now. Thank you, big chunk of McWeeby. Well, David X Xander ain't looking too. I don't know. Xander kind of. Xander was a little. He was a little off too. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe they do. Well, oh man, I guess Xander. God, Xander would be so upset to learn that. Uh, to learn that um, David was full of shit. Damn. Thank you, Koopa. His new sprite. Hello. I know. I love him too. Thank you, Wolf Allen. Did Kinjo and Shobai. Ah, that's what I'm saying too. That's like Shobai Kinjo core thing going on right now. He's kind of reminding me more of Shobai though, honestly. Now that his like true personality is out. Just like the, I'm a piece of shit and I don't care what anybody thinks about it. Thank you, Dambi Diaga. It was at this point I was down bad for David. <laughs> down bad. Honestly say, God, that clavicle. <laughs> Me. I'm just like Veronica. Maybe I, I really am a Veronica Kinney, huh? Veronica R2O. R2O Kinney. Thank you, Lucky Cat, 2703 Luna. David Magic Girl transformation into Nagito. It do be kind of like that. Thank you, Captain Draken. I'm usually not one to feel this way, but... Just everybody simping in these donos. I understand completely. I co I support you. I agree. I believe in you. Everything. I love you. I love and support you all. And all your, all your simping that's going on in the chat and in the donations. Another professional. Thank you. Since this episode, the DRD, DRDT fan tag is filled with him. God, I bet. <laughs> I bet. Thank you, Mimikyu lover. Kiru. Hey, Weeby. Does this mean David's love for Xander was a lie? Probably, honestly. I'll say we've been waiting for this. Hope you enjoy the David love. I'm so excited. Thank you, Salt is great. Evil David, Starboy David. Yeah, get out of here, Starboy David. I kind of liked when he was breaking down, though. It had this, like, uh, little picture of him to the side where he was just, like, <laughs> he looked, like, so cute. I was like, this does not feel like an accurate representation of him. I'm glad they changed it. Thank you, Johnny James. Wow, something for a psycho like this? Unbelievable. Anyways, Veronica, my queen, please step on me. <laughs> <laughs> We're all degenerates in this fandom, and we just that's why we need to support each other, guys. That's why we need to support each other. Thank you, Kanban. Now that David's secret has been revealed, there's a possibility that he was lying about Xander being the mastermind. This is just a theory, though. God, I don't remember when did he say that. Gotta go back and rewatch some of this stuff. You can't really trust David, it doesn't seem like. Thank you, Demi. David Cold is wonderful. Thoughts on a David sticker? Oh, that could be fun. Yeah, we could definitely get a David. Uh, a date. Well, I guess the only bad thing is um, trying to get like a spoiler one. Cause that's why I was able to use like, well, I guess I shouldn't say because it's like kind of a spoiler for that game. But we could definitely try to get a uh, David, a David sticker. Maybe I'll make a David cult tier too. <laughs> Sorry, Kenjo, it's the David cult now, baby. <laughs> yeah, for real. Thank you, SV202. And thank you, another professional. Fan base is down bad for boys once their ties are loose. <laughs> that's so freaking true. I'm dead. Oh, thank you guys. I appreciate you. That is not a defense. Wow. Oh, really? Gosh, I never knew. I kind of want to... Actually, I kind of feel like the Teruya slash Sobai voice does fit him. Maybe, maybe it is a good fit. Oh, really? Gosh, I never knew. Thanks so much for pointing that out to me. And everyone here who... You fucking idiot. Oh, no. Poor who? The Luhu. Stop that! Mm, you know. People like you who jump to help others in order to assuage their own insecurities are the easiest to manipulate. I wonder what he does think of Xander. It's all because you tried you are to be some kind of helpful mother figure. Ugh. That's just so readily accepted that there could be an easy solution to this killing game. 
Just have everybody expose their own secrets and nothing bad will happen. Now we can all be friends. What a tempting outcome and for such a little effort. It was a good lie. I could totally like, because when I first, when he first said it to you and he like made up his, um, God, it really does mean he was lying about having depression. What a piece of shit. <laughs> What a piece of shit. At least he knows it. And in spite of how easy you'll spill up. But I was gonna, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was thinking he was doing it for the right reasons too. I was like, oh yeah, I can see that being a good idea. But I can also see how it's a bad idea. And in spite of how easily you'll spill all their secrets for the sake of peace, you're still too much of a coward to admit your own. I, that's not what, he does kind of have a point there. What's wrong, Julia? Oh god, he's <laughs> gonna start calling her Julia now. Julia, go ahead and share your secret. It can't be that bad, can it? Or is it worse than mine? Worse than Nico's? Or could it be that you're actually not as noble and strong of a person as you make yourself out to be? I can smell a piece of shit from a mile away. You know, being one. Huh? Oh. How dare you? Oh shit. Oh shit. Get him. I'm trying my best. I really am. I'm just trying to help. Wreck him. Destroy I have him. I to be the one to give everyone guidance. That's the only thing I can do. If no one relies on me, then I won't be useful anymore. Huh. You knew how I felt. Oh, and damn. Yet you... You... She, like, opened up to him, too? Damn. You toyed with my heart! What the fuck? All that time, you acted like you were encouraging us to reveal our secrets to prevent conflict. <laughs> that was all a lie! Oh, she's finally not Deluhu anymore. Oh, look, in my defense, <laughs> waiting four days for people to even start murdering each other was way too boring. I had to speed it up a little, so that really is his personality. I guess... I guess he was just trying to, like, still fake it when talking about how he couldn't wait to watch, like, the culprit get executed. He was like... Because <laughs> that just seems so genuine when he said that, you know what I mean? About, like, the, oh, that killer is such a piece of shit. But I guess he was more like, God, that killer is such a piece of shit. I love him. <laughs> this is so entertaining. I can't wait to get to the execution, baby. He's just a regular, regular Danganronpa fan, just like me. Average, most sane Danganronpa fan. Waiting four days to, for people to even start murdering each other was way too boring. I had to speed it up a little bit. The audience at home gets what I'm saying, right guys? You! This whole time you were active, you were actively trying to make a murder happen? I was thinking. In that case, David is definitely the killer, right? Really How dare you now. say that about my about my little scrunkly? Oh, am I? That's news to me. Someone should have let me know in advance that I was gonna be Ra's murderer so that I could prepare. That's so weird. You literally just admitted you wanted a murder to happen. How the hell can you be innocent? I want to watch the shit show go down. Come on. How can y'all be this thick in the head? It's a wonder that we survived the last trial. Although, admittedly, you did have men's stupidity working in your favor. Sure. Jesus. All I did was foster the right atmosphere for a murder to occur. But I'm not the one who killed Ra. That was someone else. Understand. You don't have any actual evidence that connects me to Ra. Seriously? Um, yes we do. You were near the scene of the crime around the time Ra died. You have some sort of confrontation with her. And you're acting really dickishly right now. Super suspicious. Super sus. So, what's your point? <laughs> we decided who the murderer was based on who was at the crime scene, and who was the biggest asshole here. <laughs> okay, it's kind of true. We should have voted Taruko out last trial. She's almost as big Shut of an it. asshole as me. Shut it. You can be as sarcastic as you want, but that won't change the fact that you still need evidence to defend yourself. You've been acting suspiciously for days regarding this motive thing. According to Ace's account, I talked to Ra in the relaxation room. That note that you deduced was from the killer. You deduced, deduced was from the killer. Asked her to meet in the playground. Okay. According to talk da, 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 playground, somebody else wrote the note. Cause I was thinking that he wrote the note, and those two rows are right next to each other. I fail to see how that makes a difference. You don't even know when I met her beyond a vague time period of last night. 
the song too. I think I overheard you two talking at 7.30. You are delusional. <laughs> Aren't you just making shit up to kind of go with the letter? Aren't you making that up now to prove your point? You didn't bring up the time earlier, despite the fact that we've already established the time to be relevant to this case. He is smart. I feel like an indirect helper. He'll just maybe like save our butts every once in a while. <laughs> To be fair, you said Ace was telling the truth earlier. This isn't that much of a stretch. David. David, under light of new evidence, we have learned you are very suspicious. Understand that we do not suspect you to be Arya's killer without good reason. Human garbage. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> new, new voice lines. Are you all really that stupid? Did your mother drop you on the head when you were babies? She should have thrown you out... <laughs> Oh my god, these insults. She should have thrown you on the factory defect pile afterwards so that I wouldn't have to deal with your dumbassery today. Uh, that doesn't sound like the reaction of an innocent person. Cha, listen to me. I'm not the killer. Huh? Huh. <sighs> I know when I give up. One to give up. Like I said, I don't want to end up like men. Futilely fighting a war that I can't win. <laughs> Fine. Mm. <laughs> Evil laugh. <laughs> oh, fucking fine. Does he know who did it? I... I killed Ari. Wait, did, wait, did you? Does hearing that make you happy? Uh -oh. <laughs> You're just being dramatic. Fine, that's what you guys want me to tell you. I don't give a shit if we all die or not. <laughs> He's so extra. I think that is what he was doing. Oh my god. Thank you, someone unknown. Just give him my bags and I suddenly love him. So true, bestie. Thank you, Jeff. For David in particular, he is entertaining, but I'm not as compelled as with Shobai. Probably because he only got revealed now. I'm not really sure. I do kind of feel like you tend to prefer, like, um, I don't know, characters that are more, like, uh, older, I guess, looking, almost. Or, like, more masculine, kind of. I can see that being another reason why. And thank you in a bucket for the donation, but please, no hints. Does hearing that make you happy? You piece of shit, you really admitted to it. I think he's fucking with y'all. Ew, or maybe he's, maybe he's not. Do that. I don't even know anymore, I can't tell. <laughs> I feel like he's just being extra though. How could you do that? You're horrible. What a mess. <laughs> how exciting. God, we haven't even looked over like, I don't even know how much of the evidence, at least like 60% of the evidence. <laughs> David, you should be ashamed of yourself. I really believed in you. I really trusted you. I loved you. We all did, and you abused that trust. I'm so sorry. Oh no, a bunch of people who I don't give a shit about are mad at me. No, please, anything but your disappointment. I'm so sorry. I'll reverse time and unmurder Ari immediately. Seriously, what do you expect me to say in response to that? Did he do it? All right, piss me off. I can let her have my secret, that's all. <laughs> that's whack. Pretty harsh, won't lie, that's wacky you. Am I just a Lulu because I don't want him to get executed? Holy crap, you're a real scumbag. <laughs> you're kind of making me look good. So, um, are we supposed to vote now? We might as well, Mono TV, Taruko, please save them. No, wait. We're not done here. I want to know how David did the murder. Yeah, for real. It's like, don't you want to talk about? <laughs> We didn't even talk about the spinny thing. Can we please get this over with? I want to be done with this horrible trial. Just vote already. Huh, y'all would die me. without Taruko. There are quite a few mysteries of the case that I want cleared up. Oh, you can't resist the urge to toy with your prey a little longer, can you, Taruko? I already confessed. What more do you want? My hand in marriage? <laughs> Go die alone. Why well, drag this out? He already confessed. Don't tell me you like Veronica and you want to pick apart David. <laughs> what the fuck are you, Weebie News or something? David's brain or something. You gonna start simping for him? You gonna make a character analysis video? That's certainly one good reason to keep discussing. No, because the more I know about various methods to commit murder, the better I can solve trials in the future. Yeah, for real. Oh, poor Eden. I can't handle it. I can't handle seeing her like that. I love her. Do you all have so no sense of practicality? You're not curious in the slightest how David killed her. You don't think that knowledge is useful? Well... Um, the murder seems rather straightforward, doesn't it? He hung her. He hung her, like that. How? 
<laughs> oh my god, Taruko always saving them, dude. Thank you, Clover. Swords of Swords. David's VA. Ate and left no crumbs. Also, he broke to spare time. Dev, because he was trending on Twitter. Oh, that's so cool. Man, that's awesome. I hope that, like, the dev sees how much support, like, this fan again has been getting. I hope they, like, I don't know, really feel proud of it and stuff, too, you know? And thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. David out here becoming Shobai's son. Oh, my God. He really is kind of like his son, isn't he? Thank you for the dono. Are you really sure you want to know how I killed her? I doubt you'll like it if I told you what I did. He's going to make something up. Shut up. I already don't like you. Whatever you say can't possibly lower my opinion of you further. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose you could call me Ari's murder. But it's more like I talked her into killing herself. You what? She already had a pretty low opinion of herself, and she was looking for validation from me. I don't know if that really seems likely based off the conversation we heard between them, though. I guess we'll see. It was pretty easy to convince her that she should die. Jesus Christ, David. That's... Damn, who's gonna fucking... Mur <laughs> if he isn't the culprit, who's gonna murder him? Oh, wait, let me rewind so I can hear the line. How could you do that? Terrible, how could you possibly do that? Ari wanted to change, and you talked her into thinking she couldn't. Who cares? And why should I care? I guess that is kind of what his whole, like, philosophy is, though. Maybe, did he do it? <laughs> like, every 10 seconds, I'm like, did he do it? Did he not do it? Did he do it? Did he not do it? I have no clue. <sighs> I want to say that he didn't, just because I love him. <laughs> Just because I love him. And, you know, like, he's my scrunkly. What can I say? But that was, like, his whole philosophy was that, like, people can't change and shit. And that was what Ari was trying to do. So he would be kind of, like, the perfect person to, like, talk her into it unaliving. But we do – the trial isn't finished. So I'm like, there is definitely there, – if there's a chance he's not going to get executed, then I'm going to hold on to it. Why should I care? Actually, no, to that matter, why should you care? Ari contributed nothing of significant value to my life or to yours. She existed as a background character for a few short days to occasionally interject brief interruptions of bitching. <laughs> now she's gone. Ari had about as much. <laughs> I was like third wall break or fourth wall breaking. Ari had about as much impact on our lives as a temporary wealth weather spell. But no one cries when the sun comes out again. Jesus Christ, David. That's not true. There's no way I can possibly think like that. Are we done now? I'm starting to run out of ways to be an, to be an annoyance. <laughs> I like the little tongue. Mm. No, we're not done. You keep changing the topic to avoid addressing how you can act, how you actually did it, and it's making me suspicious. I told you I made her unalive herself. Yet you still have not explained any of the unresolved mysteries surrounding the murder. What are the fish doing? What a- yes, please, explain the fish. That is the biggest mystery of this freaking case. Why were the fish there? What were the fish doing at the crime scene? The one now? Oh yes, the fish! Oh yes! I remember plotting that specifically for reasons. For reasons I'm about to tell you. Okay, he didn't do it. I did push her into the pond at some point. Even so. That in no way explains how fish from the relaxation room made it into the playground. And why did you push her? Don't say you got into a fight with her because you just said you willingly talked her into to sewer slide. Who cares? She changed her mind last minute, so I decided to actively kill her. I don't really understand what the big deal about this all was. Hum. Druko, do you think he's lying? Oh, wait, yay, somebody else on my side. Thank you, Nico, for having a brain. Yeah, I do. Right. right, David is acting weird, even considering the fact that he was acting weird to begin with. I'm starting to think he didn't kill Ari at all. No way! But that makes no sense! Are you saying he confessed and made up a story of how he killed Ari in such a cruel manner? Knowing that a wrong vote would kill everyone here, including himself? Yep, that seems right up his alley. Why would he do that? Listen to me. I have no clue why David would lie about murdering Ari, but I do know this. One, he's already proven himself to be a liar. And two, his story makes no freaking sense at all. 
Ari was talked into killing herself, or uh, unaliving herself, I'm sorry, YouTube. Since when has Ari ever been the type to do what others tell her? Much less during life and death situations. Much less from someone she was suspicious of to begin with, according to Ace's testimony. That was the thing I was like, she was already, like, kind of over him, you know what I mean? Oh, really now? You're delusional. <laughs> yeah, Delulu. <laughs> oh my god, David. <laughs> so based. First, you don't believe that I didn't kill her. Now you don't believe that I did kill her. You're so inconsistent. It really pisses me off. I already admitted to killing her. Why are you trying to prove me wrong? You're wrong. Because I'm trying to survive this class trial. You know, it was, because, yeah, like, he did the same, I don't know if this is, like, I'm just, like, overanalyzing. I'm just trying to pick his brain a little bit. But, like, you know, Taruko does this sprite, and then, like, David and his, like, you know, old fake personality version. He did, like, the same sprite, just, like, the opposite hand. Kind of, I wonder, well, I was going to say maybe he was, like, basing his personality off of Taruko. But Taruko is also kind of, like, not super likable in, like, the, uh, what's the word, traditional sense, you know what I mean? Thank you, SP202. Weeby, you're making me simp for David more. <laughs> Stop! I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> you know I love these characters, I can't help it. You're lying, David, you're lying about everything. I don't think you killed Ari at all. Oh! Shit. Oh, nice! Slay, David! But don't slay, because I love I you, you need to stay. I to murdering Ari. Isn't that the point of this trial, to identify who killed her? Why are you so stubborn? Because I suspect that, for whatever reason, you're trying to mislead us all. You don't even have any proof that I couldn't be Ares' killer. Gosh, Teruko Tawaki. I know you hate anyone who isn't you, but dragging everyone down with you by getting us all executed <laughs> is a low blow. Oh my god. Even by your standards. <laughs> Projecting much? You're searching for reasons to distrust others, like you always do. Oh god, I thought it was the end of the episode for a second. Now it's like, we got two minutes, I'm gonna savor it! For Battle Showdown. I overheard Ara and Eden's conversation, so I decided to fake a note to lure her out. Here we go. When I found out she knew my secret, that sealed the deal. All the blushing emotes coming from chat. I was unable to convince her to kill herself. <laughs> so I fought and killed her. Changing your story all of a sudden, buddy! Advance! That story makes absolutely no sense. You can't even answer what half of the evidence at the crime scene is for. Your tendency to distrust others has gone way too far. <laughs> can't even distrust- can't even trust when I say I'm the killer, it's so sad. Really, who cares about your stupid fish? <laughs> I care, David! I care about the fish! They're the most important part of this trial, of this case! There's way more damning evidence that points to me. After all, I'm the only one who met with Ari near the place her body was found. And during the time she was killed. Oh shit. You're out of your element. Oh, whoa, Charles! Oh my god! Now Charles is slaying! Huh? Uh, Charles, what is this? Yeah, for a second I was like, damn, is he gonna beat me? We're all about to get executed? <laughs> But yay, Charles, saving my butt. I suspected David to be lying as well, but when I was trying to think of evidence to prove his innocence, I realized something worse. He did the hanging thing for that. I want justice for those fish, damn it. Worse, that's bad. What is it now? Shut up! Everyone, shut up! I need to think! I'm so glad to have you during the trial this time. Um... Damn it. <laughs> Thinking's hard! Taruko, we really fucked up! Oh shit. No, don't! No, damn it. I wanna see the rest. Oh man. Oh, that's so good. Ah, uh, No, it's empty. It's empty. Where? Where? <laughs> I wanna see the rest. It's okay. I'll just look at fan art for the time being. I hope the creator feels well too, because yeah, apparently they're on hiatus. Because of health reasons, so I hope they can recover. I hope that, yeah, they feel really proud of this fan again and stuff, too. I mean, like, gosh, it's been... It's so good, dude. Uh, I love David so much, too. He is my baby girl, and I won't... I won't apologize or accept any 
any criticism any criticism or com or comments on it man i don't know if i can wait for a batch next time i might just have to watch it one episode at a time <laughs> like when it comes out uh, at least like two episodes maybe i could wait to do two episodes at a time but i can't i don't think i can wait for like the whole thing to come out <laughs> To like, you know, do it how I did like this time. That's just going to be too difficult once it starts releasing. I feel like it at least, but we'll see. We'll see how much uh, motivation I I have. Uh, now you are stuck with us, Weeby. Yes, I sure am. I sure am. Oh, man. Thank you, Big Chunk of McWeeby. David, the, the fish were where we're there to listen to my TED talk about Adam and Steve. That is so true. The fish are really important. I want to know about the fish. And thank you, McWeeby again, or McWeeby again. Can we get McDonald's now, Weeby? I kind of want McDonald's. You're kind of making me crave it. The way I kind of want a Big Mac right now. Oh, I shouldn't, though. Should I? I shouldn't. Maybe. What are we going to talk about McDonald's with this with this fan game? Thanks, guys, for coming to the stream. Um, I'm not really sure what fan game I'm going to stream next. If you guys have any recommendations in the chat, let me know. I'm pretty sure Penguin Rampa is finished. And same with Rampa and Friends. I think those were like the two main ones I was thinking about. There is some Insta Rampas I've kind of had my eye on. I think one is like Dedication. I think that's the one that's at like Chapter 4. I feel like that one and then like another one. I gotta get those confused because they have like similar names. That one's got like, you know, a pretty decent amount of, uh, you know, content. But yeah, I mostly just want to kind of do ones that have like a decent amount of content, you know, um, so that I can do. A decent amount of episodes. Oh, actually, on the opposite thought, I was thinking about watching the Rebirth stuff just because I never watched Rebirth, but I guess that would kind of be like, whatchamacallit, the other one I was doing, uh, Blowback, since that one got um, canceled. Oh, 69. Oh, I've heard of that one. Rampa and Friends. A lot of people love Rampa and Friends. And... Yeah, I guess I can just kind of look and see what you guys are interested in, but I was kind of curious. SDR Next Gen. I have heard of that one, but that one get... um. Did that one get canceled though, or like discontinued? I kind of thought it did. Oh, Penguin Romp is chapter six, then Romp and Friends is finished. Oh, okay, interesting. But yeah, I was thinking about doing Rebirth just because I've never looked at it. And I feel like it's kind of one of those things. I'm kind of surprised I haven't run into spoilers for it yet. But it's like, I kind of just want to watch it just to watch it. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I was like, I don't know if people are going to be as interested since it did get canceled. I think there's only like one trial. It's kind of interesting too, because there's not like a daily life, deadly life. It's literally just like the trial. And then I think like maybe like free time events or something. It's kind of, it's kind of different. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys uh, think. You guys can leave it in the comment section too. Oh, sorry. I scratched my mic. And I will uh, look at that. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for coming to the stream. Before you end, uh, oh, wait. check your... I, I basically made the little member credits. You can oh, you made member credits? Upload it to YouTube. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, that's uh, cool. Privated. Oh, wait, where is it? It's uh, just in your video. It should be private. Or I sent it on Discord, too. Oh, on Discord? Um, I don't know if I'll... I'm so, like, technologically... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's so nice. I guess I could go to the link in the video at least. Yeah. Okay, that's so nice. My boyfriend, ma you made this? That's so sweet. What the heck? You want to say hi? You look cute too. If you want to. <laughs> you made credits for everybody who's a member because we're yeah. going to start doing that. It's a little scuffed, but... Uh, oh. You know, <laughs> the Super Ice Club Ultimate Mitch stands. Yes! <laughs> we love the Mitch stands. But yeah, I can kind of show off the credits too but uh yeah i guess um i'll see you guys later and thanks to everybody who's a member too we got so many members now i just kind of wanted to start giving shout outs to everyone who is a member at the end of streams and videos and that's so sweet for making the outro but yeah bye guys i'll see you next time let me figure out how to do this okay now bye guys <laughs>